So guys, uh, we are raising money for charity today. Um, if anyone would like to make a donation to the Wales Air Ambulance, please feel free to do so. There's no pressure, but you can follow that Just Giving link to get involved if you would like. Um, alternatively, guys, there are ways that you can help for free. And such things are sharing the Just Giving link. You can go and retweet uh, my tweets to say that we're live and raising money. You can share the link with all your friends and family and on your, all your social medias. Uh, you can also host the channel um, to open up the channel to potentially new people who then may end up donating. You never know. There are so many ways you can help. Um, the Wales Air Ambulance, guys, they are in vital need of funds because they are wholly publicly funded. They don't get any government funding, um, yet they provide a vital service to the whole of Wales and they also cover England as and when needed as well. Um, you can also find some more information about them on the Just Giving page as well. So feel free to do that. Uh, so we are going to be starting a D&D &D one shot who um, it's going to be DM'd by the amazing Momo. Now, there are ways that you can get involved as well um, in the game. If you go onto the live chat in Discord, now I did bring it up somewhere. Where is it? Aha, there we go. Have I still got it open? No, I haven't. Okay, let me reopen it. Ah, there we go. That one. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. So, um, you can get involved in the game, guys. Um, by donating to the charity to trigger different things in the game. Moon Monster, how are you doing tonight, honey? It's bone one D4 task. No, no. However, however, you can donate money to get involved by either helping or hindering both players and the DM, guys, the, the GM, okay? Um, so you can donate five pound to give a healing potion to a player. Traitor Legions, how you doing, honey? How is your day been? You can donate £10 to trigger a good luck card for a player. £15 will get you an award, the DM inspiration uh, in, uh, to a player. Uh, £20 will trigger a bad luck card for the DM to use against players. Uh, and a £100 donation will spawn a dragon, guys, which is likely to kill us all so you know uh, <laughs> so by all means have fun with those as we play along guys okay try not to kill us too early if you want to spawn a dragon but like you know <laughs> get involved if you want guys get involved so you can see that list there's a couple of example cards that momo's put in there like good luck cards uh and bad luck cards uh, you know there's a category for deity. I do, but there's a, big, a bigger category with just chatting, which will hopefully bring more people in for the ch for the sake of the charity. So, uh, calculated. And there's going to be a lot of chatting, so, like, you know, it fits. Um, oh, kicking boxes. Uh, reported. <laughs> Shut up. We're, we're not in the wrong category because we are chatting, so it's fine. Um, so, yeah, guys, get involved if you want to, okay, by donating at the Just Given link. If you need to bring it up on screen in the chat again, um, do exclamation mark double A, uh, W A A, okay, so Wales A Ambulance. Uh, then when you are painting, you could be in Just Chatting. <laughs> Me personally, I could be because I chat so much, yeah, sure. As <laughs> uh, so that's all you do as well, yeah, yeah. I do get some painting done, you know. Paint goes on the brush and then the brush touches the model in varying degrees. It's fine, it's fine. All right, guys, so I'm going to jump into the um, the voice chat. So we've got the lovely Momo, Playgrat, Purpley Can and uh, Valumain. I think, I, I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but I'm sure he can correct me. Um, but yeah, be kind, guys, okay? Um, I've played one game of D and D before this, and it was also read by the amazing. <gasps> dun dun dun! 
<laughs> Lol. Thank you for those beautiful biddies. Wog in the pink box. Guys, can we get all the hype, please? Thank you so much. So bit cheers and subscriptions will be donated to the charity as well, guys, for any that are made during this stream, okay? So we've got 15 hours worth left in this stream so far. Um, so, but yeah, I've, I've done one game of D&D &D with the lovely Momo before a couple of weeks ago. And that was great fun. But I am still a D&D &D noob. Uh, thankfully, our fellow players are a lot more experienced than me. So, you know, it won't be a complete disaster. Uh, so, yeah, be kind, guys, and have fun, okay? Remember, we're here for charity. So, like, you know, don't troll us too hard, okay? <laughs> Hello! Oh, God, Violet, you're loud. Let me turn you down. <laughs> It, it's my end, not you. you. You're okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, are you so all able to hear? Is, do you have sound um, now? Music? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, let me get that. I downloaded it somewhere. Where is it? It's somewhere over here. No. <laughs> no, over here then. No. There's two versions, and it's the blue one you want to be using. Oh, okay. You uh, got a blue one or a yellow one? The icon yeah. we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah. Use, it's a blue if one. Use, if you use the ah, yellow one, you get transported to Narnia. Oh, <laughs> that may not be a bad thing. <laughs> the blue one takes you out of the Matrix. <laughs> Who wants to I'm be not dressed out of the Narnia? Matrix? The Matrix is fun! <laughs> Okay, it says the device is not linked to any account. Oh, all right. Is it asking for a pin? Yeah, it's, it's got a device pin and it says link device. All right. Uh, so what pin is it showing? Uh, 2826. 2826. So I think if I do... Uh, so you know your email. I'll just use mine uh, for now. I think. Yay! They can hear you in chat finally. Helps Ooh, if I yes. unmute my yeah, headset, wasn't it? <laughs> in OBS. <Generally> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've got you muted now. <laughs> no feedback, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, I briefly muted myself to check if I cleared myself on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> on the stream. Can I hear right. me now? Can I hear me now? <laughs> Are you hearing some sappy music, Nell? I like this music. Uh, do, 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 do. Why does it say invalid code? Or invalid pin, rather. Put that for there. Momo, does this music have a... Um... Oh, what's the word? Like, is it on YouTube anywhere? Like, uh, it no, it's um, from Sirenscape. Um, it's the copyright free music. Okay. Um, and it just says hero music. Um, can't Have you got a pin that. code that um, I can enter my end? Right, you should have a pin code on the blue player. Yeah, I've done that, and uh, I've given that to Momo, and she's just done something, but nothing's happened my end. No, uh, I do have you linked on my thing. Let me See, everyone else, it. they didn't need to enter their pin. This is strange. You're right. just the yacht one out. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's a bit I low. Seem to have a pin. Okay, let me turn him back up again. More than oh! Oh! <laughs> Isn't hey! there missing that? No, it's not. No, it's not. Right, it's come up now with uh, another active device that's already linked to your account. Do you want to make this the active device? No, yes. don't do that. That'll break mine. Oh, okay. I think it's because I entered your PIN. Um, <laughs> I have got no idea how to get you connected then. Cause oh, right. it now it says worked. this device is not linked to any account. Right. Um, you need to go to the Sinscape uh, need... website right. and link it to your Sinscape account. To my account? Yeah. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, this is the first time I've used this. Maybe. Flipping copyrighted music. 
back in my day. <laughs> we we didn't have that. copyright on the music. <laughs> Look, just because I'm old. <laughs> if anyone tried to take it, we just threw peanuts at them until they went away. Claude, <laughs> let me drop a comment on your head. Oh, Momo. Moon Monster hmm? says, I need to hear Momo say my name. Who says that? Moo Monster. Moo Monster. Moo Monster. How's that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my. Moo <laughs> Moo Monster. Hey. <laughs> this is going to go great. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. So we're aiming for four hours. It may take a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, Especially it's, if it's, I can't get things to work. <laughs> <laughs> And poor old Mark, he's uh, an hour ahead of us, uh, so yeah. Oh, oh, I think he's working. I'll be all right. You just told me you've connected. Have you yes. got music? It's hey. alive. Sappy it's music. Alive. music. <laughs> Is it playing? I really love your picture, by the way. If it's not, turn it down and turn it back up. And then adjust to preference. Huh? Let me double check what it's coming through in terms of... Uh, output device. Oh, there we go. It's playing now. Yeah, it's a little bit dodgy, this system, but it was the easiest way I could find of getting uh, copyright-free music. Well, interesting, it's playing the music at a different place to where it is for me. <laughs> Can you hear it coming through my mic? Uh, just a little, a little bit, yeah. Right, I'll yeah. put it. I'll put it through my headset. I'm getting Sean flashbacks. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Try. And if you guys want to help me kill, you can buy me all of the bad look cards, um, which are these things here. Creepy kangaroo, not a problem, honey. I can honey. play against the later, uh, players to get them to re-roll things, or uh, what else have we got to do? To make them roll a, a minus d10, have to make saving throws to kill them, you know. Find me a lot of these, and I will kill the players. <laughs> I should have uh, brought... You... I should have brought Dawn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but if you want to help the players, uh, you can buy the good look cards, which give them things like advantage on saving throws. And I'm hoping you don't buy any of those. I need to restart this uh, music app, I think because it's not registering being on my headset. Sorry. Uh, no worries. I didn't realize it would be quite so finicky. It's got loads of uh, good reviews, this thing has. <laughs> but, uh, Lies and slander. Technology. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I might be a computer programmer, but I flippin' hate technology. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> cool. as, as, a pro as a programmer, you should know that it's not the, mm. <laughs> the program screwing you over. It's how you <laughs> use it. <laughs> Giggity. No, it's the programmers who uh... <laughs> I know for a fact we are lazy bookers and uh, we'll do as little as possible. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, who is that with the follow? Scala Grim! Or uh, is it Scala Grimmer, even? Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing tonight? I am failing at this app to get it working. Now it's not playing at all. Oh, uh, I think if I stop and restart, it usually uh, gets picked up. So stop and restart. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, Scalagrim, oh. isn't that a YouTuber? I don't know, it guys. They're still I coming mean, through if, my if, headset. If that, uh, if that doesn't it. quite work, then you could always try curling up in a fetal position and crying. That That might help. Maybe, maybe. Sometimes. That's usually the last resort, though. Right. That is still coming through my speakers. I mean, we can't hear it. It's not really a bother. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me turn my mic away a little bit. I mean, uh, maybe we'll get to some like, the more like battle music. It might be a bit louder, so that might be a problem. But for now, I can't really hear anything. It's fine. Anyway, this isn't going to be a very serious game anyway, so it'll be fine. I'll turn it down as low as I can. Uh, Zaren is having me involved in the making of small cups. Uh, I get to crush the graham crackers. Nice! Oh, sorry, graham crackers, sorry. Graham crackers. You know, not, not graham. 
Even though it's it's about Graham. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> how do you make blood bleed? <laughs> Lol, cool. Cool, how are you doing tonight, honey? All right, guys. Um, I will try and keep on top of chat as best I can. You, There may be times where you have to chat amongst yourselves. Um, but I believe in you guys. I, I, I feel strongly that you can accomplish that mission. Um, so we're going to let Momo get on with her thing. Um, and hopefully we'll come out this alive. <laughs> Adventure! Oh, I'm, sure, no, I'm, I'm sure you will. Death waits for no one. Let's do this. Adventure! Yeah. Alrighty, so... And guys on Discord, I apologise if I end up talking over you or my speakers just go bleh in your ears with different sound alerts and things. No, that's fine. If you need us to stop to deal with chat or whatever, just let us know. It's all cool. All right then. So you guys have been travelling together for quite a while. I'm going to assume you all know each other. Do you want oh, to do a quick uh, of uh, your characters? I guess starting with you, Mark. Why me? Because you've got a big gob. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> guys, we've just had a thirty-pound donation. Remember, Momo, I am petty and have a long memory. What was that now? We've just had a £30 donation for the charity from Scala Grimmett. Thank you so, so much. Oh, fantastic. Massive Thank level you. pictures. So, my character's name is Oakheart. He is a 7 foot 6 furbolg with uh, brown hair. And he has something of a timid disposition. And the rest will find out, find out in a while, little bit. All right, uh, Nell, do you want to go next? Um, I'm just struggling to bring up my character sheet. Wait, where is my character oh, sheet? You have to go uh, to the uh, icons in the top right, and yeah, you have to click there's... journal, and there is sh your character sheet should be there. No, it's, it's missing. I, I've only got a torch there. <laughs> oh, then... go to the folder called characters. There's a folder called characters? Yes. There is. <laughs> oh, have I? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you didn't no. give her permission to alter her sheet. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't give you permission to your own sheet, Nell. Great there start. Try now. <laughs> hey, there she is. <laughs> I'm doing hey, it too late. I forgot. You could, you, could, you could not be trusted to handle your character responsibly, so that the end took control away. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not, Nell. So, my character is Narissa Alamasa. Um, she is um, a uh, oh god I never is it Tieflin or Tieflin? It's Tieflin, Tieflin, isn't it? Tieflin, thank you. Who is all about the great open sea uh, and sailing on a ship? She's gonna have her own ship one day. Or sorry, I should say I'm gonna have my own ship one day. Um, and to hell with the land. I just want to live in the sea, guys. Sail the seas. Yeah, uh, roll twenty. All right, uh, publican. Hi. So my name is Violet. Not violent, as some people would have to believe. <laughs> um, I am a barbarian. I have dark auburn hair and heterochromia. So one eye is teal, and the other eye is red. Um. I am totally a human, as far as I know, but as a character, she's actually a Kalashtar, but she was orphaned, so she has no idea, and that makes her prone to fits of rage. Also, she believes she's living in a dream, so prepare for crazy. <laughs> I like Perfect. this character. <laughs> All right, and Playground. Hi, I'm Cass. I am a changeling. Uh, I generally look quite wallflowerish with r short brown hair, brown uh, eyes. Playground, are you muted? Um, I hope not. No, I, I, I can hear you. Hear. Um, I can have you got me individually muted? <laughs> <laughs> Although if she had, she wouldn't have heard that question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, I had you muted. I apologise. <laughs> the answer to my question was yes. Yeah. 
so trying again. Uh, I'm Kat. I'm a changeling. Uh, in normal form, you'll find me in. I'm a bit of a wallflower. I've got short, dark brown hair, dark brown up eyes. I've got a couple of piercings in my ears, but that that right personal preference. Um, I've got a bit of a scar on my left shoulder. Um, I definitely do not tell for things that are not mine. Ask me my gender and I am likely to punch you. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. So, it starts off with you guys um, walking along a cliffside path towards um, the port village of Amulus Cove. You've got fields on one side, uh, sea on the other. It's a beautiful day. As you know, for all the little birds chirping around. You might even hear a cow in the background. But all of a sudden, a blue seagull flaps up to you and squawks. Rah! This is a message from Lucy Skyhorn. The lighthouse has been attacked by monsters. Please send help before it's too late. There will be a reward, I promise. Now, how do I stop this thing recording? And it squawks again and flaps off. Let's go kill some things. <laughs> so you can I'm see the lighthouse. I'm not supposed to talk! <laughs> it's a messenger bird. That would explain a lot. Oh, come on. Things come like that all the time. They are pretty common. What? Um, From? They <laughs> might not happen in real life, but they happen here. Excuse me? Uh, uh, of course, dear. Of course. So we should probably go to that lighthouse. There was a mention of reward. Probably gold. Oh, I'd like some gold. Gold is good. I'd like to use my axe, please. <laughs> On what? <laughs> Okar takes a gentle step flat backwards. <laughs> You'll get one. Not, axe. not, not a new guy. Yeah, oh, as you it's look. Just, it's just Sorry, been far on. too long. And I need to break up a fight, even if that means I have to start one. Okay. <laughs> well, at the moment, there's only you guys on the path. Um, but as you look towards the village, um, sort of down at the cove, you can see um, just out uh, in the ocean a lighthouse. And you can just about make out the blue seagull flapping its way back towards it. That seems obvious enough to be where we need to go. It might just be. Well, it's a lighthouse, the message of the going back to it. Big issue, how do we get across the water? Don't know about you, but I've not got any ships. Get sold when we get there. Have you not been? Have you not done this before? I, I mean, skip as you. Along. Yeah, as you look at the village, you do notice it's you know, got a port and there are ships there. Oh. Look over there! Ships! Almost as if you just said about ships! Magical ships! Oh no. Do we have to go into a village? Well, it's general. It's the easiest way to get the ships. <sighs> we are not walking around the village again. Okay! I wanted to go and get a drink for the road! Please don't. Sure, uh, you've got water in your bag like the rest of us. Water, sure, but sh water isn't. Oh. And do you remember it. what happened last time when you started drinking? It was brilliant. <laughs> there was so much red everywhere. Yes, that paint shop will never be the same again. <laughs> So do you head down into the village? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's a safe bet we should do that, guys. Before any mischief <laughs> happens. <laughs> well, you do that and you notice um, the village itself is quite quiet. But as you near the docks, um, there are large crowds uh, gathered. And they're quite angry. Um, and See? As you this, is what happens. Them, this is what happens when you go to villages. Turn around. Let's turn around. <laughs> As we walk there, anything that has something shiny on, I'll pick up. 
Uh, you can do me a sleight of hand, see whether you can pick anything up. As you pass a, a stall with, a, I don't know, candlesticks and things on it. I'm just going to look around to see if anything's jumping out. Oh, because, I've you got know, stuff to do bloody. I think yeah. I'm in a dream, so day has happened. Yeah, with well, that 17, um, yeah. you'll definitely be able to snag something. Uh, a candlestick and a little brass bowl, maybe. Uh, but as, as you're walking through the crowd, uh, you start to hear what they're talking about. And it seems that they've been stuck in port for a long time. They haven't been able to leave. There's wild rumours of monsters in the sea, uh, freak tidal waves. A lot of very stressed people. Merchants wanting to sell their goods. People um, you know, demanding their goods be you know, arrive. Um, and there's one poor chap standing in the middle of it all, trying to calm everyone down. And you can see a few captains on the docks as well standing by the ships, uh, trying to organise things. Well, they're probably the people we need to talk to. Just listening. See if anything interesting comes up. Oh. Yeah, it's all the same rumours, people being angry about... You know, they can't go out fishing, they're losing their livelihoods. These flipping monsters, ships going missing. Um, people who claim to have seen freak tidal waves dragging ships away. There's a lot of fear. Uh, Travelling bard, uh, would you like to tell me a bit more about the monsters? <laughs> no, yeah, the chap will look at you. Well, I didn't see it myself, but it was huge. It was made of water. It had glowing eyes. I don't know what it was, and it, it just it just engulfed the ship. I don't know what happened then. That's probably just a kraken. Nope. 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 Oh, you oh, see oh. Violet getting physically more and more jumpy and excited. <laughs> well, I was born to be on the sea, so I, I say that we try and get a ship uh, to go see? to where the suspected see? kraken see? or monster is. Like, you know, so we sort of need to the first. It's like, I, I can use my ship's passage ability, guys. It's fine. I can get a free passage on a ship, so you don't even have to part with your, with your hard-earned coin. We just need to get to Lighthouse first. That's probably where all this started from. Let's let go! It's the scary water monster with glowing eyes. That sounds wonderful! Yeah, absolutely. See, even he agrees! Everybody <laughs> for the scary monster! No, right, no, no. Killing water it monsters. will get us more gold. Water monsters are bad. Okay? But you water just monsters said you are bad. To go. This is the most <sighs> excited I've seen you about something in a very long time. Like, I don't think. I think you're misinterpreting this. Okay, guys. So what we're we gonna do? Just, are we gonna get to the lighthouse, now. or are we just gonna to. go full gun ho and try and um, make our way to where these ships apparently disappear in? Uh, you are discussing things. Um, a woman will come up to you wearing a, a captain's hat. Oh. As you'll say, are you adventurers? Ah! <laughs> well, I did it by him, but we are, yeah. Nice hat. Don't you not sneak up on us like that? I didn't sneak up. Nice. Listen, I'm you a Sheila Coppertree. Yeah, I've got a ship, but I've been uh, trapped in port for ages. Oh, why? But, <laughs> haven't you heard? There's a monster out there. Now, I don't believe it, but I do think there's something wrong with the lighthouse. It's, uh... Well, I've been visited by this blue bird. It was just speaking gibberish. So if you're adventurers, I will take you to the lighthouse. Uh, if you can fix my problem, oh, I don't know, I'll give you 50 gold. How's that? If you can fix it all. Are we talking 50 gold each? 50 gold each? Oh, yeah, that's a uh, question. I was thinking between you. I mean, I'm using my ship after all. Between four people, eighty. Hmm. How about sixty? What do you say, Gang? I say eighty or no deal. At least then we get twenty gold each. I do like the sound of eighty. It does make yeah. it worthwhile for us to go. After all, we are selling the things. Oh, Cart's right. just gonna look anywhere aside from the ship and see if he can find a way out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, do me a persuasion. Are all of us? Um, no, who was that last talking? I've not got your voices yet. Was that Violet? Why? Uh, it, it was it was Nerissa who suggested the uh, 80 gold and 20 gold split. I, I said about 80 because it was easiest and then they said 60. Oh. And then you said 80. Yeah. Alright, who spoke yeah. up to Nell? Because they were the one who sounded like they were uh, talking to the captain. Or were you talking to the captain now? I was talking to the captain. Alright, cool. Uh, you roll persuasion then. <laughs> uh, where's my persuasion thing again? Oh, where are you? P, 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 P. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, fantastic. Oh, nice. Slash so she'll, <laughs> she'll pull a face, but she knows she hasn't really got a choice. So she'll just wave her hand in the air. Fine, fine. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah. Uh, I am. Yeah, if everyone else is good. Make so, sure I've got oh. everything. Make sure my axe is uh, pretty sturdy. Yeah. Ogard right. will try and weekly protest, but come along regardless. <laughs> I, I just stare Ogard down until he gets on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. right. You two, do you want to go ahead? I'll stand. I, I, I'll take the rear so as this one actually gets on the ship. <laughs> And yeah. just smile, kind of. You know that slightly unhinged smile? What do you do smile. now? <laughs> 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 yeah, so she will uh, lead you to a ship. Um, it's quite a small ship, it's called the Gullwing. Um, and immediately be in preparation to depart. It only takes about half an hour. And uh, you are at sea. I'm just playing some songs on my sitter, keeping the morale of the crew up. Some uh, little sea shanties. Yeah. All right. Uh, and as you're about halfway there, it's smooth sailing, but the seas start to get rougher as you near the lighthouse. Now, can you all do me perception checks? Yeah. Uh, which one's that? What? What? <gasps> I don't have. What? I don't have. Oh wait, I can give myself guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Damn I didn't though. I've got plus six perception. I roll a seven. Should have gotten that <laughs> sentinel shield. <laughs> I've got plus three perception and got an 18. <laughs> what the hell? Welcome to D&D. &D. <laughs> well, I think most of you are um, sort of distracted. Happy birthday with your craft. But um, perfectly can. You will spot something um, approaching the ship. Hey guys, we got company. Oh Ooh. god. <laughs> and it begins to uh, raise up out of the sea. <laughs> and before you know it, it has uh, found its way over the side of the boat. Gosh, oh. yeah, things like I'm just look I'm I'm looking at the thing trying to size it up. See, is this a hand axe job? Is this a great axe job or is this just my hands? <laughs> <laughs> well, it it appears to be made of water. And um, it's immediately going to start lashing out at you guys. So I think we need to roll some initiative. Uh, can you select your token before you roll it? Otherwise, you won't show up in the tracker. All right. Okay. There we go. So we've got Oakheart, but Cass, you'll need to select your token and re-roll. Initiative says, doesn't it? Yes. I have the bestest 15. initiative. <laughs> uh, how did you get four point fourteen? Sorry. Right. Select your token. I have mm -hmm. done, and now I'm back in my character sheet. And then flick where it says initiative. It right at the top in the, the middle. middle. Middle of there. Got it. What? Should be fine. Yeah, it says 15, so. Alright, so oh, I've got all of you. Uh, let me uh, organise that. And it looks like this creature will be going first. And it is going to move over you, over all four of you. And it's going to try and whelm you. Ooh. Bit too close to comfort, of... mate. Yeah, as it engulfs you, um, I'm going to need you all to do <coughs> a strength saving throws for me, please. Strength? Uh, do I have to click on again? Uh, do, just do you on have, your sheet. Do you have some battle music for us? Yeah, I'm doing it. I've only got so many Sorry. hands. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, what, what did you say? <laughs> I put, I put here. Um, a strength saving throw, please. Okay, do I have to click on things again? 
Yeah, not your saving? token, just, no. on just on strength track. saving throw. Is it uh, just strength? Uh, strength save. With strength so, yeah. save. I didn't see what it did, but it made no, a noise. That's, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh... What? Yes, you've all got hey. it. Hey! So... Who have we got? I need to delete some so space So the people who failed drive. are going to take 13 damage. So that'll be uh, Kaz and uh, just Kaz will take 13. Everyone else uh, will take 6 damage. Right, how do... Uh, current hit points, I take that down, right? You do, yeah. Or you can type in the uh, the green bubble. Just type minus 6 and it'll do it for you. Or minus 13. Alright, and you are all now grappled inside it, sort of... Uh, floating around in its watery innards. You can feel the water vibrate as it roars. Um, you I will have a chance Cass on your turn to try and get out. I think Cass is the only one that's grappled. Yeah. Only one who failed. Uh, yeah. Hold on. So, am I grappled? Uh, yeah, Cass is grappled. The rest of you are pushed out, sorry. You all get pushed out, uh, Kaz. You're grappled inside and slowly suffocating. Violet, um, what do you do? We should probably try and get her out. If you're uh, within five foot of her, you can reach in and grab her, do a strength saving throw. Just give me a second. I think there's one thing I kind of want to do first. Which is, just because I can basically me blow my horn and go, you, you're a problem. And I can't find where it is. Is that a uh, bonus action? Uh, that's what I'm just trying to see. I'm pretty sure it is. That is... No, it says one action. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, can I grab her and do that? Uh, no, grabbing her will no. be an action. Okay. Uh, grab her and try and belt it with the other hand? No. Your yeah. action is to grab her and pull her out, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Uh, if you've got a bonus action, you could do something with that, perhaps. But uh, if you yeah. if you use your if you if you use your rage first and then try and grab her, you probably get advantage on the check. That, that's what I was trying to see if I had anything that was like that, but I don't. I can't see anything called rage. It's all. That's why. Um, I'm really sorry about that. your action cheat sheet. Told you. Like, in day one. When. Okay. You're a level 5 Barbarian, so you should uh, have level three, 3 Rages. Barbarian. Level 3, then you should have 2 Rages for a day. Still Rage, yeah. yeah and it is a bonus action to enter Rage, so you can do that. Yeah, I'm just going to go Rage, full Hulk mode, and try and grab our out. Alright, uh, do me a uh, Strength saving throw, please. Uh, I get advantage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you manage it. It takes a, all your strength, but you manage to drag her out next to you. Next uh, time, don't try and wrench the monster. <laughs> uh, you've got your movement left if you want to move, Violet. Uh, I want to stand pretty close to this guy because I'm melee. Yeah, I think I'm pretty fine where I am, to be honest. All right, Nerissa, you're standing right next to it as it towers over you. Uh oh, you see it raising a big tendril to do a swipe. Sorry. Ah, uh, right. Let's see what we want to do. I think maybe dodge and, and get out of, of the way would be a good idea. So as you run out of its way, um, it'll be able to take an opportunity uh, uh, opportunity attack against you, unless you take the disengage action. Um, if you do that, you probably won't be able to cast a spell or anything afterwards. Um, do I have anything that is going to prevent him hitting me with his tendril? Uh, if you disengage, but that is your action then. But you can disengage and move away without it hitting you. Oh, what should I do, chat? Help me out. Do I disengage or do I just attack, take the hit and then attack? I suppose I can always save the, um, against the attack, right? Um... Depends what kind of attack it does, really. It might just beat your armor attack. You might always have 
good enough armour to uh, avoid being hit. So it's a risk. If you just run without disengaging, it's going to attack you and it may or may not hit. Uh, but if you want to be safe, you can disengage and get out of it and then attack next turn. Um, how much health have I got? I think we should play it safe. This early on in the game. Oh, Lula's saying attack. Really saying an attack. <laughs> God damn, I knew someone would. Yeah, I think you do have some good close combat spells. Uh, I made you melee range, but I think I gave you inflict wounds. That's good close range. Okay, yeah, let's um, let's go for that. Oh, Lula's saying burning hands. I don't think I have burning hands. Uh, no. I don't think I gave you that one. No. No. Let's go for uh, inflict wounds. Alright, uh, can you roll that attack for me then? Where are we? Inflict wounds. Oh, uh, what level am I? Five, am I? You can pick it, so it, the lowest you can do it, I think, is level 2. But if you want to do it more powerfully, you can pick a higher level spell slot. And what's my max slot? Uh, 3, I think, are your level? Yeah, 3 is your highest. Oh, yeah, so sorry, 1 is your lowest, and 3 is your highest for this particular spell. Right, okay. Let's go for it. 13. Yeah, and you'll hit um, and do a massive um, 26 points of damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it looks quite shocked as it turns to face you. Uh-oh. Did not like that at all. Uh-oh. Mistakes may have been made, may have been made, guys. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you still get your movement left or a bonus action? <clears throat> um... What are my bonus actions? Did you give me any this time? <laughs> um, I'm not sure off the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry. I was um. trying to make it do that, and I took the wrong flip. <laughs> now it's looking at Nerissa. <laughs> hey, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Lol, my God. So. Yeah, uh, I think I should probably move away, but... Am I able to move away in such a way that it's not going to get the a bit um, the advantage on me? No, and not now. Because uh, use your action to cast a spell, you can't now use your action to disengage. So it will get that opportunity attack. I'm just going to have to stand my ground then. Yeah, I'm just going to have to stand my ground. All right. Um, Cass, it's your turn. Its uh, attention has been uh, drawn away from you. As you uh, sort of stand there, sopping wet after being grappled by it. Um, I'm going to start by trying to stab it with a short sword. Good choice. That is enough to hit. Yay! <coughs> but, uh, also, you I think don't... you should... Sorry, what was I, that, Mark? I think that's sneak attack too. It is sneak attack too, so that would be... Uh, yep, yeah. uh, so what I was saying is, you do your attack, but you don't think it does quite as much as you're expecting. You know, your sword doesn't meet as much resistance um, as uh, you thought. Uh, uh, I'm still going to attack it with the, the short sword from the other hand. Alright. Ooh, Ooh, nice hit, but only one piercing. <laughs> yep. Rip. That seems shockingly low. Uh, yeah, it, it does a little bit of damage. Uh, the wound's sealing up behind it as more water flows into it. Is there anything else you want to do? Oh, because I'm not going to be useful if I move away from it. <laughs> That's all. Alright, Ocard. What do you do? Uh, scream like a girl. <laughs> I thought that might happen. <laughs> Uh, first, I am going to move away from this thing. <laughs> I do not want to be near it. It's going to attack you. Uh, huge tentacle of water. Oh, crikey. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
Okay. Down to four. That's fine. I'm still alive. I'm so oh, dead. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Fair enough. No, no. Mind us why we bought fault. him with us again, guys. <laughs> um. Yeah. Cannon Here's fodder, what... I suppose. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I do forget the name of our barbarian because she's the only one who doesn't have a name tag. No, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> oh yeah, Violet. Oh, not Violet. Violet. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Alright. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna look over at Violet and just go. What are you waiting for? Kill it! <laughs> Cast haste on her. <laughs> All right, so you cast haste on Violet. Yes. Anything else? I am going to use my innate Fergal Polka ability what? to turn myself invisible. <laughs> you choice. may have used that before he attacked you. <laughs> Just say it. Yes. Hindsight. <laughs> So, this water elemental, uh, me is going to do a couple of attacks. The first one on Marissa. Oh no. And he misses you. Huzzah! Uh, could you do, could you, you have done that like a turn before that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one is going to go on Violet as it tries to slam you both together. Uh, does a 15 hit? It does. Uh, so you're going to take 15 bludgeoning damage. Oh, rep. Although you're raging, so is that halved, I think? Yeah. Uh, give me a second. So yeah, that'll just be seven damage Resistance to you then. Resistance to bludgeoning, so halved. Mm -hmm. Just seven damage then. Um, which is good. Now, it's your turn for a bit of revenge, Violet. What are you going give to do? Give me a second, I'm just altering. Uh, seven takes me down to a certain nine. The first thing I'll do is... You're trying to get three girls wet, mate. Dinner and a date first. <laughs> <laughs> oh and, and my! That, I smile at him and take out my big grey axe. Nice. And, come on, then. Come on, then. Let's see what happens. Oh, by you, the way. You, you, you wanna, you wanna play there? If I might interject, playing? you did. Inter did you take into account that you're hasted and that you've got a plus two to your AC right now? No. Because I have no idea what uh, that the trap does, which makes it a 16. Alright, in which case that misses you then. Yeah, um, which gets me back up to 46. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you... I should have said that sooner. No, I, I assumed <laughs> it had been done. I didn't know what that did. Yeah, I just uh, click on right. the chat and read it. As a, as a, just and as I a make, just quick... Read that beforehand. As a quick in between, yeah. you've got a plus two to AC, you have advantage on dexterity saving throws, and you get an additional action you can use to attack each turn. So, so I'll just up three, increase your armor to 16. Uh, because my armor's already 14. Yeah, it was 14, so I'll change it to 16. And when the spell ends, we'll go back to 14. Um, yeah. And you can Should do... Change it to 16, then? No, no, I've done that for you already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's all right, um, and yeah, and you get two attacks this time. Right, I'm just gonna look at it and just go. <laughs> it's on like zombie jumping, and get my big massive great axe and take a massive swing. All right, let's see. So, uh, I think that's just that. Do I just click on my great axe? Um, yeah, in the attack section at the top. Uh, do I have advantage on this? Yes, I no. think I do. Don't I? Uh, I don't think you do. Oh, uh, no. Well, you can use reckless attack and give yourself advantage. That's what it was. Uh, um, we're flanking. Flanking You're doesn't not work. Flanking. Oh, no. There's no, there's no one opposite no. of her on the other side. I'm uh, just gonna yeah, go. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking half of the animals. Give myself advantage on the ones that I've got this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is going to miss, but you've got another attack thanks to haste. Thank you! So you can take another wild swing. That one will hit. Wonderful. Uh, at this point, I would just like to make a note of the fact uh, I have ancestral protectors while raging. The first creature I hit with an attack on my turn has to on any attack that isn't against me. 
And when oh, the target cool. creature hits a creature other than me, that creature has resistance to the damage dealt to the attack. I just gave the party resistance. Oh, all right, perfect. Remind me that if it goes someone else. Can you roll the damage for that attack? Uh, how do I do that? If you click, just on, click on the word axe. "great axe." Yeah, in the chat. In chat. Will do as soon as Discord stops spamming. There we go. Uh, again, you think it probably didn't do as much damage as you're expecting as um, you uh, carved through the water with that? To that as well, because I'm enraged. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, you don't think it does quite as much damage as you're expecting, as you don't get much resistance from the water. Um, but you think maybe maybe it's shrunk just a little bit. All right. Do you do any movement or anything? Or are you staying there? I'm just staying there. There's no point in me moving. All right, Nerissa. Yes, that's You've me. seen what it did to Oakheart. To be fair, this is Oakheart we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, okay, what we're we gonna do? Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to attack. Like, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Mm. <laughs> Steve the Moisty Flappy Flap. Oh god, Texas. <laughs> Texas has just named the sea monster that we have in front of us. He's named it Steve the Moist Sea Flappy Flap. Steve the Moist Sea Flap. Alright. Yeah. Moist Sea Flap Flap. <laughs> Um, I did well with Inflict Wounds last time, so I think I'm going to have to go again with that. Alright, it is using your spell slots up though. Uh, I I'll risk it for a biscuit, because like, you know, we we're kind of stuck at sea at the moment until we deal with this. <laughs> she did it <with> Steve. <laughs> good going, Texas, good going. Oh my goodness. Are you a healer now? No. Uh, I ain't a healer. I, I think I may have a heal, but not I, predominantly. I, I've, I've got some healing myself. Well. Uh, oh, cards a support character. He was not supposed to be on the front line. <laughs> 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 so, I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with inflict wounds. So, fingers crossed, right. guys. Christ. What level are you going to cast that at? I think you've only got one level 3 spell slot left. Uh, according to this... Yes! Yeah, I've only got level 3 left. Uh, how, no, how much? How no, much? Midgard Painter, we will not sell Oak Heart! Caitlin, <laughs> 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 how you doing, honey? Alright, starting bid, £5. Um... <laughs> How much HP does this uh, mob have left? Do we know? You don't no. know. Oh, okay. Um, uh, like I say, you think it's probably a little bit smaller than it was when it started, but it still seems pretty healthy. Maybe I should go with level two. Because I did 26 points of damage with my level three. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll go with level two to save my level three slot. See that right, house. See what how you can do. Goes. Come on, roll. Come on, roll. Let's go. Let's go. Twelve. Oh no, you missed. God damn it! That would you be twenty-five out and points in the The water just parts as the spell like zaps out of your hand and it goes nowhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so close. No. All right, are you staying there? Um. Yeah, I've got no choice. Rip. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am going to tell you one Cast. more time. Right, so I Get to use your butt to, to bed to now. Disengage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. That's close enough to flank. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Um. Alright, so you've got advantage <laughs> on this. And... Uh, you can sneak attack as well, let's see what you can do. So, I'm going to attack him with my first short sword. That'll hit. And then I'm going to attack him with my second short sword. Oh no, I'm not. That's a nice hit as well. Oh. I'm not because I used my bonus action to do my cunning action. Dive. Oh, you did, yeah, good point. Yeah. Don't forget but your sneak attack. You can do sneak attack, yeah. I can do sneak attack, yes. 
that's 3d6, I think. Yeah. Eight. Not bad. Better than nothing. Yeah. And it turns to face you. Oh. No cart. Well, <laughs> this is the part where Hogarth <laughs> loses his invincibility. <laughs> okay. Okay! Take that! Oh! Oh, very nice. That is definitely gonna hit. Woo! Oh, come on. <laughs> yes! Well, the flame sizzles into him just a little bit, but it does seem to do as much damage as you expected for three points. You know, just, just uh, sizzled a little bit of it into steam. Alright. Yeah. Now, is it's there any... <laughs> I can't see anyone's HP right now, so is anyone missing a significant amount of help? Yes. Yeah, you. Yes, me. Aside from me, anyone else? I am. <gasps> and I am what was... Cass, right? Oh no, yeah. oh no. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt guys, but Lurch has just donated 20 pounds. Um, thank oh. you for that, but what that now means is that Momo <sighs> gets a thank bad you, luck card you always my for the DM to use against the players. <laughs> right. Of course it had well, to be Well, I'm just going to draw that now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lit. <laughs> that was great, Lit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think this is, a, I think it, this, this is the part where I use healing word. I think on the cast was it right? Yeah. All right. Uh, first level, so it's not much. You heal six hit points. Caitlin, yes. Yes. Uh, who was that that on cast? Yeah. yeah. All right. Six HP. That's pretty good. And I will move myself back a little further. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will conveniently position this helpless NPC between me and the monster. <laughs> Good choice. The NPC does look like it has a sword. Ah, uh, you're lucky that was a two. Alright, Kaz. I think this is going to attack you, but I believe it's got disadvantage. It does have disadvantage. Yes. Alright, so one slam attack on you. Uh, just a 12. I don't think that'll hit. No, it does not. Huzzah! Uh, then its second one is going to be against you, Violet, as it flails wildly at the people surrounding it's it. It's got advantage against me. Yes. Uh-huh, and it got 17, so I think that's going to be a yeah, whole whopping 8 hits, bludgeoning. Just it. A whole uh, whopping 4. Which is 4. Because <laughs> it's still half. <laughs> yes, it is half. Alright, and now it's your turn. Right. Forgive me, I'm a little bit cold, so I'm just reorganising a couple of things. Um, now, there's one of two things I can do. I don't know which one. Um, I'm just. Oh, that is a that, didn't it? I forgot that was a that. Right. So, can I do my bonus action first? Mm hmm. For my bonus action, I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration. Turn to Marissa and just go, look, you missed that time, but you can do it. Bardic inspiration. Oh, yes! I feel so inspired. I'm going to kick his butt next to him. Yeah, you can do it. I've if got the bar! Say, it'll be the information of Bardic inspiration in the chat. Uh, what thing? The chat button what? on it. It's a D8, yeah. isn't it, at this level? D6, I believe. D6. That's that one. No, well, basically, uh, you can use Part of Inspiration, add it to saves, um, attack add it to attack it rolls, yeah. That one, yeah. Basically what it says there, uh, only lasts 10 minutes, so if you don't use it in this fight, you may not be able to use it again. Um, and yeah, D8 at 5th level. You can do it, Oh, you are, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking level 5. Um, yeah, 
Multi classes. Um, so yeah, just a d6, but use it when you can, Larissa. Oh, I, I will be using it my next turn. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to use my actual action to just wail on it. Alright, you've got two actual actions still uh, from haste. Yep, I'm going to wail on it. Uh, wail on it twice. Well, you could also try and shark on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Cart doesn't doesn't actually know about the uh, the corner with Midgard, does he? But he's about to. Bloody hell! That's yeah. bad. <laughs> Good night, Tony Spurs. Bloody hell! That's oh. bad. Adventure. Relax, yeah, misses. Adventure. Uh, it just divides um, as you try and attack it. Roll your second one, please. Try again. I try again. No, I'm gonna do it. That's better. Huzzah! Roll your damage on that as your uh, axe cleaves through it, so watery flesh. Well, and you'd say maybe it's uh, starting to look a little bit ragged now. And, but, uh, and because it's the first ancestral still in place. Hmm. All right. Cool. Uh, Narissa. Okay, my turn. Um, let's, uh, am I still using my two-hander, or have I got my sword and board on? Um, let me have a look. I think I left you using your two-hander, because that's what you were using last game. Right, cool. Um, da -da -da, where is your armour? So, um, no, yeah, you don't have your shield equipped, so you've got lower AC, so you can use your two-hander. Alright, cool. Uh, I am going to use uh, my two-hander to see if I can smack him around the head. Uh, so come on, roll. Good choice. Come on, roll. <laughs> His head is quite hard to reach. It's still towering over you, this thing. You do let's see. I, I can, sta well, I can stand on my tippy tail. It's fine. Give myself a boost. <laughs> do a little hop and jump as you attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, roll that Ooh. warhammer. Ooh! Oh, 18. 18. You hit that perfectly. Smashing it straight <laughs> through the chin. I'm going to save my bardic inspiration for my save roll when it attacks me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kaz. Right, so... Oh, sorry, how much damage did I do? 11. 11, cool. Well, slightly less, actually. Um, you're having the same problem as everyone else when it comes to sort of non-magical attacks. Because it's made of water, the blow sort of passes through and doesn't seem to do quite as much as you'd expect. So, so, so how much did I do? I would have five. Ah! Oh, you... Technically, you don't know that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, certainly not as much as uh, you would have expected. God damn it. Alright, so I'm going to be very, very predictable and hit it with my sword. Good choice, always good choice. Oh, nice. Is that my sneak attack? Oh, it? roll your sneak attack again because you crit. J Rose! Oh, see, now that is nice. And you got your second attack as well? Second attack. That'll hit as well for all of two, but you know, it's the rest of it that counts. Absolutely. <laughs> wow, yeah, you've done a lot of damage. Now. Not yet. It's, um, in fact, it's got a little bit smaller as you've uh, smashed so much water off it. It's uh, looking weaker, definitely. Oh, cart. You can barely see it now over the uh, the level you're on. I'll try to forward. Did you get it? Oh God, it's still here. <laughs> Maybe if you <he> help. <laughs> you hit it. A little bolt of flame sizzling into it. For hey, damage. that's more like it. Nice. <laughs> and it, you can hear it roar this time as it really doesn't enjoy it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Anyone still hurt? <laughs> Definitely looking at you. Could do nope. with a hand. Nope. Probably. But there are people worse off than me. What are you I all will on? use... Uh... Ten under. I, I've only lost oh, six. No. I'm sitting right. down. Alright, you're... Alright. I mean, everyone there, 
You're by far the worst oak apple. <laughs> yeah, you might want to use yeah. it on yourself. Just use yes. it on you. I will use healing word on myself. <laughs> I would just pat myself on the shoulder and go, You're alright, you're alright! You're not dead yet! <laughs> move back a little. <laughs> Headshot. God. <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> Excellent. This is going to move over you, both of you this time, and it's going to try to whelm you again. So I need a. Uh, uh, strength saving throws from me, please. Okay, uh, from all of us. Alright, advantage for you, Violet. Uh, what about you, Narissa? Was, was uh, it a strength, did you say? Sorry. Sorry, you're uh, both talking at the same time. What do you say, Violet? Uh, I said, uh, is it attacking? Because if it's attacking, uh, Narissa has advantage as well. It's, it's not an attack, it's an uh, area of effect. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you ask me to do strength as well? Yes, please. Strength saving throws from both of you. Can I use oh, my bardic you inspiration? Failed. You can. I roll a d6. Uh, what was the command again for that? Uh, 4 slash r space d6. Oh, fuck's sake. God <laughs> oh, damn it, I was... Uh... Da -da -da -da. Couple like and you got a 17, but you know what? I reckon this is a good time to use the card Lurch gave me. Oh no! Um, so I can make you take a d8 off. So let's see what you take off your score. Thanks, Lurch. So oh. bad. <laughs> 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 Close. A lucky Momo. Lurch. Damn it. Momo, can you hear that? All the way in the background. <laughs> Wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can hear that actually. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. Bugger it. <laughs> Alright, so you are both sort of spit out uh, from it as uh, you both made your strength saving throws. So you will each take um, three damage. Uh, but that's bludgeoning damage, so you can halve that again, uh, Violet, to a whopping one damage. Yep. Uh, and Narissa, I think you'll need to take the three. Um, Bruh. Yeah, it's not an attack. She has resistance to the damage dealt by attacks. Oh, Alright, yeah, so one oh. each. That was miserable. <laughs> really, bruh? According to uh, Taxus with the sticker, thank you very much. That is my sentiment right now as well. <sighs> I'm sorry, I tried to kill perfectly can. Uh, <coughs> oh, either way, I don't care. <laughs> Next time I'll get her. Uh, oh, Violet. Give me a second, I'm just checking something. Uh, Violet, you need to check something. We might want to end this quickly, the chat is starting to uh, right. gather I around Steve. Say, I'm going to have There's to do... <laughs> They're, they're starting a hashtag, save Steve. <laughs> yeah. There's a movement, guys. <laughs> right, uh, sorry, I've just got to do that as well. Gotta go down there. I'm just gonna try buy it again. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> Poor little Steve, I'll, he's looking very sorry for himself. I'll, I'll, I'll end up um, having to drop rage if I did anything that was a cast, so. That's what I was just quickly checking. Uh, so I got advantage, not disadvantage, advantage. There we go. That's yeah, it's when he's going to hit nice. Hashtag <laughs> water for Steve. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, let's see. Can you do it? Can you? Can she be in here? Steve's cute? days are numbered. That's going to hit. Oh, oh, it's so close. Close. oh, God damn it, only three! Narissa, it's down to you. Can you destroy this poor little, little Steve? Alright, ladies, repeat after me. Level five. Level <laughs> five. <laughs> right, um. Look at his poor little face. You can't kill Steve. Let's 
see. Um, you'll have advantage on melee attacks because you're um, flanking oh the pilot. Gosh. Yeah, mid guard's going to his corner. <laughs> yeah, but it. Oh, sorry, my God. Oh, melee attacks aren't doing point, much damage at the moment. Um, no, oh yeah, that's okay. still not enough to kill him yet. Yeah, but, but I'll take that off as well. Just, it was just a case of that happens. So I do an extra one damage on both. Huzzah! <laughs> you uh, can turn rage on uh, on your sheet so it adds it to your damage automatically. Oh, how do I do that? I've just taken it out of the thing, so. Uh, let me use your sheet. Uh, no, uh, sure. You should have a, gl a global damage modifier. Uh, yeah, and there's so you can roll your damage while left. I do this. I've got seven left. <laughs> yeah. So I've been keeping track. Well, it won't keep track of that for you, but it will just add yeah. the extra damage on. Uh, but yeah, Narissa, what do you want to do? Um, I am gonna use. Where are we? Um, I'm gonna use Sacred Flame. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I already did. You used <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what Steve can do. Dexterity. Oh, oh no! He saved. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna damn. sneer at you. Not looking down on you as much as he was before. <laughs> yeah, now yes. he's looking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold a bit closer there. And then I'm gonna stab him. Do it. Stab you, stabbing. Um, I'll be stabbing. I am flanking there, aren't I? You are, yeah. That's gonna hit nicely. Ooh. And how do you kill him? That is an ex Steve. That's an ex Steve. Well, to be fair, he got. To be fair, he got asked a lot of questions. Steve shall be missed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I we start with a quote? I just want to shout out the fight of the Midgard in this character. The Midgard is great. to get it bloody again. <laughs> Dirty it again. Oh. So as uh, Steve dies a, a watery death, right, I'm well, just going to roar in his face as he goes because I'm so enraged. I'd say that would rather swimmingly. <laughs> <sighs> you yeah, I've had this for two years, guys. Please, Pitty someone me. donate donate another twenty pounds so uh, <laughs> Momo can get another bad luck card that she can use against Okart, please. <laughs> You'll be you may kill the character, but you will never kill the funds. <laughs> Speaking of dying characters, uh <laughs> Oakheart's gonna cast Goodberry and <laughs> he's gonna shut the entirety of it. It's so mouth to heal ten hit points. Huzzah! <laughs> You're still not uh, doing very well though, Okar. Do people need a bit of a hand? <sighs> now that this is over. I, I'm Obviously, good to have a rest. It's fine. I, I could do with some uh, regenerating some oh, of my spat I'm, slots. I'm, d I'm down 16 hit points. <laughs> is it all... Uh, well, I, I can't do that on level 5, dear. But <laughs> what I can do is I just take 
Because obviously we're, I, I'm going to assume we're just on the sea as general, mm -hmm. gone back to normal at this point. Yeah, I was sort of saying that. Yeah. <laughs> as, um, yeah. People keep interrupting, darling. Uh, no, as I was uh, saying, as Steve dies, the water, you know, slowly calms and goes back to normal. And um, it only takes about another 30 minutes of sailing to reach the lighthouse. Um, so Captain Sheila, uh, she will dock the ship um, at the base of this tall cliff that the uh, lighthouse sits on. And uh, you can stay on the ship for a rest if you want, or you can uh, proceed further. The choice is yours. What I was going to do for you guys is use Song of Rest as we were travelling. Which um, means me and any creatures that can hear me gain hit points at the end of the sh uh, at the end of a short rest. Yeah. What we need okay. to do is finish a short rest. Nope. I'm good for that. Yes. Yeah. Are we saying that I've done it? Uh, yes. Uh, so if you want to cool. uh, roll it. Um, it's... Copy it into chat. I think you can just click on the spell to um, do the damage, uh, the health it's healing, can't you? It's not a spell. It's no, it's an innate ability for a bard. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you said yeah. prayer of healing, not song of healing. <laughs> yeah, but so it only it's an works extra d8, isn't it? It only works if you expend a hit die, though. I don't yeah. know how that works, but sure. So, well, anyone who wants to... You've all got five hit dice at the moment, and during a short rest, you can spend one uh, just by clicking on it on the roll 20 sheet. Um, yeah, like uh, Oakheart did there, and he's just healed five. Uh, uh. And if you roll a d8 now for your song of rest, um, everyone can add whatever that d8 comes to on top of the healing dice. Do you want me to roll a d8? How do I roll a d8? Um, in chat, type slash r d8, slash r space d8. Oh, Ooh, nice. nice! So everyone who just rolled um, a hit dice can uh, add an extra 8 onto whatever they've uh, healed. And obviously as you roll your hit dice, uh, you lose them. So uh, Cass and Indy, you take one off, and uh, Oakheart, you take two off. Yes. So do I take one off? I'm also going to use that to get myself two first level spell slots back. Oh, very nice. And I'm also going to expend my Pearl of Power to get my third level spell slot back. Ooh. <laughs> you came prepared. Yes. Uh, so, I had uh, Obviously, I'm only down six health points. I'm only down. Yeah, so if you were only down six now, um, your hit dice would have healed you up to full. Oh, sorry. But you only go up to what your maximum was. Uh, I'm nine, sorry. I, I miscalculated. Right. <laughs> well, that's cool then. Your hit dice to seven and you get the extra two from um, Song of Healing. Or Song of Rest, I can't remember. It's from cool. Gold. Back to full health. Ooh. Do I have anything you, uh, to rejuvenate my spell slots? Well, you need to actually spend a hit die as well for you can catch it. Okay. Yes, it's only if you spent hit dice. Uh, no, I think uh, you're a cleric, aren't you? So all your stuff comes back on a long rest. Okay. Uh, but yeah, anyone who's got short rest uh, abilities, you can have those back. I'll get eight back. Before I get all of it back, the nine and the eight. I Adventure! Get all of it, back, it won't go over your maximum. Ooh, that was yeah, a, okay, so a misclick, sorry guys. Two. I can turn myself invisible again. Now this time I will go do it before I get attacked. <laughs> I'm gonna hold to that. Well, I mean, it's not... It's its somewhat of poetic justice that I take the first natural 20 big rolls. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. No, not really. <laughs> All right, uh, Captain Coppertree is uh, looking at you, tapping a foot. Well, I brought you out here. I ain't got all day. Do you? Uh, yeah. That's a lot of thanks we get for cleaning her deck. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody stuff deck, bitch. Get off the boat. <laughs> I skip along happily. All right. Uh... Oh, uh, Momo, can you turn yes. off the? Um... Icons or uh, the people's names, or am I able to do that on my screen? Uh, I can do it. I just put it on there <laughs> so uh, I knew 
which character was which, really. No, no, no. The um, our actual like name characters. So uh, yeah, not the. So tokens. under your thing, it says Narissa. No, not yeah. not those the ones. ones. That say that we're in game. Yeah, so it's like Momo, Playground, Ocart, Perfectly Can, uh, uh, bottom left. The big, oh, the those. big squares. Um, you if can you do that yourself. Cog. If you yeah, go so to the cog go... in the top right, then there's a display name, and you can change that, and then you can press save name, and then it will oh, change no, no. there. No, but she wants them gone. Yeah, so if you yeah. scroll right to the bottom, um, go to the cog menu, scroll right to the bottom, you'll see something that says uh, player avatar size. You can go to and you can way. change that to names only. Huzzah! Thank you. <laughs> it was in the way. <laughs> yeah, they're huge, aren't they? The default <laughs> <Yeah>. songs. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so you disembark the ship, um, which I forgot to put on the map, but trust me, it's there, it's just next to the uh, the dock. Um, and you're at the base of this um, sixty foot tall cliff, um, but there is a uh, wood planking going up, sort of snaking around the outside. It is treacherous though. So I'm going to need you guys all to do me a dexterity saving throw. Uh oh. This should work out just fine. Yeah, I've got minus one to dex. So, uh... Not as bad as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Not that Alright, so just uh, Kaz now, I think. Alright, I'm clicking it in the thing and it is not working. Ah, that's why. Right. Make sure you get character selected. There we go. Ooh, so it's just Nalindi and Kaz who are in trouble. Uh oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kaz, you're alright. You just drop sort of five foot into the water, but and Nell, there is a. You're at the top of this ladder. You. Oh, is there anything you can do to stop yourself falling? Can I grab onto the cliffside with my tail? <laughs> yeah, you can try. Um, I guess that'll be strength. You can do what you like. But yeah, do me uh, an athletics check, see whether you're strong enough to grab with your tail. Oh, oh just... I'll say you hang on there, but you... You know, you, you take the skin up. off your hands as you fall. Oof. Can I try pull her up? Yeah. By yeah, the can. tail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I throw out my hand. Try pull her up. You can do that. And as you reach where Narissa is, uh, Oakheart, you uh, reach the top level um, with, you know, with the decking. Uh, reach, but yeah, reach the top of the cliff and you can see the lighthouse. Um, it's about 60 foot tall. Um, it's got a couple of windows, uh, about 40 foot up. Uh, the door is closed. You can't see anything uh, unusual about it. The light is still uh, burning um, on top of it. You can just see it as it uh, spins around. Are there any windows at our eye level that we could peer through? There aren't. Well, nothing to see here. How many of those will I have? I have three. Um, I can do detect magic if you want me to. As a group. It's probably well, not a bad idea. If it's, if it's gonna cost you a spell slot, I can do it once per day. As okay, a purple. It, it's gonna cost. It's gonna cost me a spell slot. So if you want to do it, go ahead. All right. I'll use uh, full bolt magic to cast uh, detect magic. All right, thirty foot. You didn't detect any magic, uh, Marissa. Oh. Since you're closest to the door, uh, would you want to do a perception check? Yes. <laughs> you don't hear anything. <laughs> I've got plus. Can, can I try in here? Uh, yeah, who was that? Sorry. Can I? Can I? Can I cast yeah. guidance on her when she does that? <laughs> You can. Uh, as you approach, I would like you to do stealth checks for me. Uh, yeah, so as you. you say I can do a perception. Yeah, do a stealth check though to approach the door and sort of you know put your head up against it. I do have pass without trace, but it's a little late now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you've got no problem, uh, Violet, getting up to the door. Um, so do me a perception. Oh, oh god. I didn't bring Prass without Trace for a reason, but I did bring <laughs> already. All right. I'm not, I'm not used to droning. 22 non-natural. All right, yeah, uh, you can hear, um, sort of these harsh voices yeah. coming from inside. Not speaking a language you know. Um, like an um, Do I? Can I hear anything? Um, so yeah, Kaz... Oh, hang on. Perception. Yeah, there you go. Kaz and Violet, you can both hear that uh, these voices. <laughs> well, Is if it... everybody's trying, can I try? <laughs> if you want. Uh, no, it's not a language you know either. And Okot, you can also hear these creepy, sort of, burbling, guttural voices. Right. <laughs> That's a giggle. Oh. I've just read what Midgard's put in the chat. <laughs> Do I want to know? It's not speaking aloud to us, and we'll wait. <laughs> the Jorty's in there! <laughs> <laughs> that is quite amusing. <laughs> Is, is it a language that Okart knows? <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> is it a language that Narissa would know being a Tito? All, the, all these languages. No, it is not. <laughs> so with all the languages I, between us, none of us. I did not, not know this language. I was I was not aware that I could pick Jordy as a language. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it similar to Goblin? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, excuse me. No, it's not. <laughs> not if you know this language, I'm sorry. Yeah, fair enough. Is it actual? Is it one of the ones that's reasonably well known? Mm, no. Fair enough. Uh, um, this is where it was a missile, and I decided not to take a missile. <laughs> um, is it? No, there won't be any downstairs windows. It's a bloody lighthouse. Is there a window on the door? No. And as you look at the door, you notice it seems to have been sort of smashed off its hinges and then hastily put back together. So it Just... seems like somebody don't want you in there. Let's go in there. Yes, it does look like someone started to knock and forgot to stop. <laughs> Don't you guys, mm. like, whenever you're in a dream, like, when it, whenever you're dreaming and you see a door like that that says don't go in there, you've got to go in there. It's like seeing a button that says do not press. You've got to do it. Well, Is there I'm seeing the logic in there. No. gaps that you can, I can see through into the How building? about I take a look first and then we decide if we go in or not? Uh, first off, uh, Kaz, no, there's not in any uh, gaps you can see. Uh, you can just see the hinges have been smashed off, and it's sort of just been, you know, hastily nailed back together. But the door still fit flush. Okay. Um, oh, cart. What were you so, saying? No gaps at all. Not that you could see through. But perhaps a very small creature could uh, squeeze underneath. Kind of what I was asking for. <laughs> I thought it might have been. <laughs> oh, there's the uh, windows um, higher up as well. The uh, ones that are sort of on the second floor, you think? It, well, yeah. Uh, do you want to think I'm going to make it attempt to climb up to the second floor? And how are you going to climb up these sheer lighthouse walls? I am going to pull out my pittance. <laughs> if you want me to use the barbarian method to make the hole bigger, Oh, All right. Well, let's do that in a minute. Uh, let's <laughs> let um, Okart do his yeah. thing first, maybe. Uh, so, for starters, I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace. <laughs> <laughs> and is that on everyone? Uh, that is for everyone. Yeah. Cool. And then, what are you going to be doing? Uh, then, I'm going to wild shape myself into a spider. Teeny tiny little spider. I don't think your character's afraid of spiders. 
Why the fuck did it have to be spiders? <laughs> yes! The irony is not lost on Oakheart. <laughs> I am not afraid oh, of spiders. I'll just put him away for now. <laughs> Alright. Can my teeny tiny spider form <laughs> squeeze anywhere between the door? Yeah, under yeah. Door? You can just about squeeze under, so I will uh, move you in. Uh, this is what you see. I see nothing. Oh, I'm talking to that vision. I don't have vision on the token. I do! <laughs> yeah, the, the question that I was there asking Momo was actually to it, like in character to mm. Okar. Do you want me to make the hole bigger? I can use the barbarian method. No, oh, yeah, no, I was talking to the fine. person who's going to climb up. Uh, but yeah, can you see now, Okar? Yes, I can see. I can fight! <laughs> well, maybe not. I'm a teeny tiny little spider. <laughs> so yeah, you find yourself uh, in a room. Uh, it looks like it was once quite nice, but it's a bit... It's got smashed uh, furniture lying around. Um, a bit of trash as well that's just been thrown there, you know, leftover food. And you also see several of these uh, strange... almost fish-like creatures. Like bipedal fish, uh, all bearing weapons, uh, talking to each other, a couple in the corner fighting over some kind of dice game. Can I identify these creatures? Yeah, you can try. Uh, maybe history? History, okay. Thirteen? Pan, you absolutely empty. <laughs> How you doing, honey? Really Adventure! Sure. Heard of a Sir Horgan, um, but you don't think these are quite the same. These are more Adventure! than uh, those, but they're probably something similar. Hmm. All right, I will uh, press my teeny tiny spider form back out. Squish. So come on, uh, then, give us a low down. What what did you see? <laughs> I'll turn it back into myself first, because spiders don't talk. <laughs> well, there is that. There is that. <laughs> Technically, you're not a true spider, so, you know. <laughs> there's, some, there's some fish creatures in there. What, Lucatha? Uh, not sure. I saw six of them, I think, total. I really should have paid more attention to that. Pretty, Pretty sure that was things. <laughs> I mean, I might be rare in for a fight, but I normally like to be prepared. They seem a little aggressive and they're all armed. And you didn't tell us that before. <laughs> I thought fish people would be enough to go, hmm, bad idea, let's just go. Oh, I could... Probably quite easily climb up to the second floor windows and have a look. Well, if that's what you want to try. But I'm afraid that the six below are, might just be the tip of the iceberg. Well, that's why I was suggesting me climbing up and looking in the windows. Hey. Get seen. Rather than not get the jump. Try and be quiet. <laughs> I'm always quiet. All right, so do you want to try and climb up? Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to need an athletics check from you to see whether you're strong enough to scale this um, with advantage because you've got a climbing kit, do you? Uh, I or have just pickles. I'll let you do that with advantage. You're. A sneaky, sneaky rogue. You've got these kind of skills. Um, while this is going on, Violet's just tapping her foot, going, "Guys, with weapons, fish. I have an <laughs> axe. Just contemplating. Look into the door, and then to the person. Then to the door, <laughs> then to the person." All right. So, Kaz, you can climb up um, to the window. It's narrow, but you can squeeze through. Um, you're probably going to have to try and open it or smash it first. Um, 
I'm going to see if I can open it first, rather than smash it and draw attention to myself. All right. Um, I guess you've got thieves' tools. That'll make it easier. Yes, I do. Can you roll me a uh, dexterity check using your thieves' tools? Or oh, thieves' tools using dexterity. Oh, easily. Um, you barely even blink and you've got that window open. It wasn't locked, it just needed you to reach inside with one of your tools and unlatch it. Yep. Um, so you find yourself in a stairwell. Um, and you can hear from downstairs more of these uh, voices much more clearly than you did before. Um, for upstairs you don't hear anything. So I am going to sneak down slightly see if I can sort of hear or well, see them. Alright, I'm gonna pop you on the map there. Uh, can you see anything? Uh, I can see the stairs. That sounds about right. Uh, that's obviously you. you might need to sneak around the corner to see more, but I'm gonna need a stealth check from you. Oh, not that way. Stay within the uh, stairwell. <laughs> I was trying to move properly. Yeah, you might need to hold Alt as you move him around because the stairwells aren't exactly lined up with the squares. Uh, but yes, a stealth check, please, to see whether you're noticed as you creep downstairs, is it? You have a plus 10 to this. You do? I do. That's so good. That's 23. <laughs> so, yeah, that with there? a 23, you can sneak around to here. Um. And sort of just see into the downstairs room. You can't see all of it, obviously, because the wall of the stairs is in the way. And if you go too far down, they are clearly going to see you as you're standing in the stairway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you see what you see. Um, it sounds like what Oakheart described um, a room that's been slightly smashed up, um, bits of litter lying around, and several of these odd, scaly, fishy type creatures. Are, are they medium in uh, appearance? Yeah, they're yeah about the same size as a human, maybe six inches shorter. Can I I'm going to use shape change. You going to what? Sorry. I'm going to be using my shape change. Mm hmm. So that I look like one of them. All right, that doesn't change your clothing though, does it? Just That's your physical cool. appearance. But I'm going to assume they're dumb. And All I'll right. Have a question. Uh, yes? How long has she been in there? Oh, it's probably only been about ten minutes now. Ten minutes. Right. I turn around- while she's out there, because I was already looking at her, looking at the door, looking at her, looking at the door. She's been mm. in there ten minutes. She needs saving. I'm <laughs> gonna kick the door in. I'm saying this to the other two. Not necessarily- I'm just gonna rush straight in there and just go, boom. Yeah, Oakheart will futilely go somewhere along the lines of, Well, maybe we should wait a little longer. Oh, sh yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at Oakheart thinking, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> right. Come on then! So is anyone stopping you or are they going to let... Uh, I, I don't think we got door? a chance! I think there is a <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I think I can reasonably say that Oakheart's too scared of her to try and stop her. <laughs> Alright, so Kaz, you are there on the stairwell. Ones. You look like uh, one of these creatures. But where they're wearing sort of rags, you're wearing full-on human clothing. Yep. Um, Violet and Marissa, you are trying to get this door open. Um, I use. Hmm, do I use foot or do I use axe? Foot or axe? Oakheart will use guidance on her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still ask Marissa, foot or axe? I do lose. I'm, I'm going to go with axe. Without trace, no. Gonna go with axe. Go with axe. I'm not sure any amount of past that trace is going to stop the noise this is going to make. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use the axe. If you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> All right. Um, you smash into the door, uh, and it doesn't budge. It appears to have been uh, barricaded from the other side. So I'm going to need um, you to roll the damage for your axe, see whether you can chop through it, and how long it takes you to chop through it. Oh, that was awful. Alright, uh, uh, roll the damage for me. Oh. You're not going to miss the door. Are you raging? <laughs> no, I don't know where the two came from. 
Oh, oh I added that to your sheet for when you were raging. Oh. So sorry. there's a little tick box just under the attacks uh, that says rage, and you can untick that oh, and it will not do the rage damage. Thank you. Um, yeah, eight damage. Uh, you splint the door and you can see inside, but you haven't quite got through yet. I'm going to roll initiative. Uh, just give me one sec before you start rolling for yourselves. I'm just going to roll initiative for, uh, well, for the creatures in general, just to try and speed things up a little. So there we go. That's now, yeah, if you. Funny. It's quite nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, so if you guys select your tokens and roll initiative, I guess we're going to get into a bit of a fight. It's another nat 20. That's not a nat 20, that's a 17. No, just a generous oh, 20. Fair enough. <laughs> right, quick question. Why is your initiative. Uh, I have a, I have a tiebreaker on. Yeah. So if two oh, people have two decks, you can have a tiebreaker on. Um, so yeah, it's fine. That's because his uh, dexterity is fourteen. Yes. Um, so if you both got plus two, oh yeah, so if you both got ten on your initiative, then whoever has a higher dexterity would go first. Um, so Kaz, you can hear your friends um, smashing through the door and you see all these creatures um, turn alertly to face uh, the entrance. None of them have noticed you. <laughs> All right, you can do that. Uh, do you want to maybe roll a stealth to try and hide yourself, or disguise yourself, maybe? <laughs> no. And that's what? still got the plus ten from the. Uh... No, you dropped it. Uh, that that get dropped out. Uh... That's all right. You can stay there. Yeah. Now. This chap, he's close enough to the door. In fact, I'm going to open these doors so you can actually see inside. Let me head over to be done with the writing. So these doors are only open uh, partially as you're battering them down. But you should be able to see inside now. Yay. Yeah. Um, so this guy, he's close enough. Um, um, I yeah, can't he see can that see. Uh, I can see basically half the circle. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's uh, stepping forward. Um, as he's seen you, uh, and since you're the closest, he is going to attack you. Uh, stabbing at you with the uh, knife he's got. 22 for 5 hole damage. Um, the other ones are going to wait their time. Uh, a couple of them are backing up by the look of it, like they're lining up for something. Um, Violet, your turn. They don't seem friendly. Go out into the. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, hit it with an axe again. Alright. Do you want to uh, roll your. Or do I do that? Sorry, I've got a couple of things I can do. With that. Yeah, it's alright. Debating. Uh, sorry, I should have a couple of things. Oh, now, uh, uh, oh, Nell, I think your vision's okay. It's the bits you can't see are blocked by the fact there's doors in the way. Ah, oh, right, okay. I only open the doors part way. Um, yeah. Once you're in, you should I'll, be able to see everything. I'll, I'll, I'll just. It'll help everybody. I'll smash it. Relax. So you're gonna finish smashing the doors open? Yeah, try and smash him along with it. Well, Alright, yeah. Uh, roll that attack then. Let's see. Oh, yeah. With that, I think you can do a massive swing that takes in both of the uh, the doors and the uh, the poor little creature. And he will uh, sort of scream in pain as uh, your axe gouges into him. And just let me open these doors. There we go. The doors are fully open now. So the bit of the room I can't see, is that normal? That, yeah, that'll be around the corners, you know. You, okay. As you step into the room, it'll all be revealed. <laughs> um, but the bit uh, here, this is like a stairwell going up that's enclosed, so you won't see into there. Uh, these bits here and here are obviously uh, 
walls. And if you can't see around this corner, it's because it's around the corner. Yeah. In the water. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, have you done everything, Violet? Uh, well, I can't. The only things I've got left is bonus action and movement. And I don't think he's already stood there, so I'm not going to try and move through him. Uh, bonus action, is there any of them I want to use? No, I've only got two, and neither of them want to be used. Alright, Nerissa. Obviously your closest target is the one in the doorway, but you can see other ones uh, standing around the room facing. Uh, and... Yeah, what do you do? Uh, where is that ability gone? Things open so don't get here. Um, so, uh, I've got a spiritual weapon um, and it says cast in time one bonus action. Does that mean I can use that and attack? Uh, yes. Yeah. Also, oh no, that's wild raging. Carry on, it's alright. So, yeah, and the spiritual weapon that will uh, sort of stay there over multiple turns so you can attack. Using it, your bonus action every turn. Oh. Okay, can I use a uh, special weapon for my bonus action then, please? You can. Um, if you want to cast it, see how much damage it does. I'm just going to drop um, a torch on the uh, the map, which you can use as your spiritual weapon. Eight. So um, I'm going to pop Ooh, a tiny little torch. Let me make that bigger. What level am I casting it as? Whatever you like. Um, if it's around for multiple turns, I think I should do my highest level. So is that level three? Yes. Let's give it some welly. All right, I've just dropped the torch there, but I think you can put it anywhere within like 30 foot or something. So if you want to move it somewhere else, uh, wherever you want to initially cast it, go ahead. Uh, where is it? So range is 60 feet. Yeah, so anywhere you can see within 60 foot you can have it appear. Uh, squares are 5 feet each, aren't they? Sorry? The squares on the map, they're 5 feet each, aren't they? Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah, it's probably... Go to there. Oh, hello Kaz, I can see you on the map now. <laughs> <laughs> Technically you can't, but yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I can, I've got the torch there. <laughs> yeah, well it's because the torch has got vision as well, so that it casts light. Well, it's totally stupid like that. <laughs> but yeah, in theory you can't actually see it. <laughs> uh, what if you could, you'd see a very strange looking um, fishy creature wearing human clothes. Uh, yeah, it's quite true. bizarre. <laughs> Somehow this fishy creature. It's all items. <laughs> um, so, I did quite well on the roll. Which, you did. Which one are you attacking? You've got two. One here and one to the south. Um, I'll go for the one to the south, please. Alright. That is some seriously good damage. Uh, it, it's like beat into its knees by your spiritual weapon um, as it sort of smashes into it uh, as it stands up you can see blood trickling down its face it, yeah it's really injured so what else do you do you've got your action and your movement Ooh. Um, I did read these, but my memory is so bad I don't remember them. <laughs> uh, um, so if you're looking at spells, um, there's a limit of one actual spell and one cantrip. So you won't be able to do any other spell except you can ah, right, okay. action. Ah, right, not drugs! So you can do Sacred Ooh. Flame. Thank you. Yes, you can Sacred Flame or yeah. Word of Radiance. Yeah. 
Oh, guys, we're gonna wait two seconds. Rob, Rob and Tron. Welcome in, everybody. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> we're doing dirty things. We are. <laughs> we are playing <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I'm not seeing enough squig defense, guys. Uh, I'm glad I can't see the chat. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, thank you for those follows. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Blake Mac did another one. Thank you so much. Guys, for everyone who didn't come over with the raid, please go and click on that Twitch link. Go and give Rob Tran a follow. He is so lovely and amazing and insane. All, all wrapped up in, in one little present, I swear to God. Uh, he is the mastermind behind the world's only live action text adventure uh, game. Text based you adventure know, game. You always find yourself in the dark place. <laughs> yeah, you die, you die, you die. <laughs> how did your stream go, Rob? Robertron, how did your stream go? And welcome in, everybody. So, guys, today we are here playing D and D. Uh, the end by the 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 lovely even the lovely uh, Momo. Uh, we are raising yeah, money. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are raising money for the Wales Air Ambulance. If anyone would like to make a donation, feel free to follow that just given link. You can also get involved by making a donation with, for D and D as well. Uh, where is the link? There you go. If you click on that link, it will show you a picture of how you can get involved um, by hopefully helping the players or hindering the players. Mo Momo the DM, she, she likes uh, hindering the players, so like, you know, we want to donate and uh, help with that. That, that. that kind of would be cool. <laughs> uh, thank you for all the followers, guys. Thank you so, so much. <clears throat> so I was literally about to decide what I was going to attack with. Lady B, how are you doing, honey? Uh, did I miss Robotron in that massive uh, flamboyant pineapples? Uh, potatoes, even. Oh, what are you putting in chat? <laughs> Can't with me, bro. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> so we're fighting against some like fishy people, and the fish puns. Oh, the fish puns that people have been it's saying. It's very fishy in this room. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm pretty sure every fish pun in existence has been put in this channel. Right now. Oh no, there are more. I know, J-Craft, it, it was a slip of the tongue. Fla I meant flamboyant potato, okay? I, I'm not wearing it right now, but I even have a flamboyant potato t-shirt as well, okay? So you'd think I'd know better. But I, I have been streaming for, how long have I been streaming for? Over 11 hours, because this is a 24, a 24 hour charity stream. I've still got just over 13 hours left to go. So my brain is a little bit addled already after 11 hours so far, but it's fine. I'm no good at this. Oh, Sam has just triggered a sticker party. Guys, go full hand with the spam the stickers. If you click on the purple heart on the stream, it will bring up the sticker options. You've got 75 seconds to go full hand with the spam. Okay, the stickers are free during the next 75 seconds. Uh, fish meat. The panic, the panic button is appropriate. <laughs> it is, it is. I'm not panicking, you're panicking! <laughs> the dark room tolerates no slips of the tongue. I regret to inform you. You die, you die, you die! Kind of apt, kind of apt. Knowing you now, it won't be 24 hours I stream. No, well, my last charity I stream I did uh, last month, guys, we went for 32 <laughs> hours and 9 minutes. And we raised over £1,700 for the NHS Frontline Heroes, which was absolutely amazing. We absolutely smashed it. Uh, so today, we are raising money for the Wales Air Ambulance. Look at all those stickers! Woot! 
Um, and we are currently on, what are we on at the moment? £410, guys. That's absolutely amazing. <gasps> Thank you so much for the follow. That's my family are fighting. <laughs> How do you do the sticker thing? There's, um, if you hover over the, the stream, you'll get a little box on the right hand side of the stream. Click on the purple heart and it'll bring up your options for stream stickers. Uh, I used to be a fisherman. Put my net in, Kemp wasn't high enough. Fucking hell, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job I, I do this all day. <laughs> it's a good job I now have a potato have over my that? head. <laughs> no, I'm not Noodles! Noodles! Momo, you may get your wish. Noodles has just donated oh, no. £20. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that means that you've just given our DM a bad luck card to trigger as and when she she uh, so wishes so. Um, guys, oh, can we get all the hype, please? Just drawn one. Let me see what it says. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was universally agreed. I need to speak. Let's catch you. I'll watch this two back tomorrow, Jacob. Right. Thank you so much, Ben. <laughs> I never agreed to that. I'm an equal duties uh, bully. Oh, God damn it. Why are you all <laughs> trying gonna... to krill us? I will put this card to very good use soon. <laughs> what was the card that you got? Did you did you show us or are you keeping it secret? I'm keeping it secret because you players shouldn't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know if I can show. I don't know about any way of showing chat without showing all the players. I'm sorry. No, I don't think so. Uh, but yes, I will use it very very soon. You can my protected um, document and players can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> You can put it in chat and trust that none of us will actually look at it. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> that much. Yeah, there you go. If I put it in chat and you find out what it is, you will avoid ever triggering it. I'm not <laughs> telling you. I'm sorry. But thank you very much for donating it. And when it goes off, it should be amazing. Yeah. Lovely course. Keep going. Thank you, Noodles. Well, like I said, last month I managed to do a 32 hour and 9 minute stream. Okay. Those 9 minutes are counted. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to do any more than the 24 hour stream for this one. Depends on my energy levels and the state of the stream by that time. Um, but if I can go longer, I will. Um, and I, I'd like to eventually beat that target as well. Even if it's just by one minute and like 32 hours and 10 minutes. Who knows? We'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, so let's get back to D&D, guys. I've always been here all night, which I don't object to, but everyone else might. Um, so I was just... I was on my attack, guys, for those who have come in. I just cast, um, what was it, a Spiritual Weapon. Um, and I almost, almost did some uh, really good damage to um, donate for the players. It's a great opportunity. <laughs> um, so I cast Spiritual Weapon, did an absolute ton of damage to one of these mobs. And now I'm gonna cast uh, Sacred Flame on this mob by here, the one I'm pinging. Oh, so, sorry, I didn't see which one you pinged. Oh, uh, the, the same one that my spiritual weapon was at. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's see if I can finish him off. Uh, where are we? So let's see what his dexterity save is like. Please don't save. He didn't, he's gonna take all four of that damage. Um, does it finish him off though? It does, um, but the strangest thing happens. As he uh, dies, he seems to explode with a crackling yeah. blue energy. Uh -oh. Oh God. Uh, Death burst. Yeah, so this one next to him, uh, that two of them are gonna have to make saving throws. But if this happened near you, you'd be making saving throws as well. But let's oh, see how these guys go. Okay, uh, just for clarification, which one did you cast on? Sorry. The one oh, just I'll below the torch. Thank you. Yeah, let me uh, put an X on that guy. <laughs> Lol for you. Thank you. So yeah, these guys, they, they seem to take just a tiny bit of damage, but almost nothing. I think possibly they're immune to whatever energy it was that was zapping out of this creature as it exploded and died. Um, uh, any movement from you, Narissa? Am I able to move um, over here? You can. You will take an attack opportunity, however. From this guy. I, yes, I, can, I, can, I can attempt to save that, though, can't I? 
Oh, if it goes over your AC, um, you'll be hit. So, uh, what's my AC? I think it's uh, 16. Right. All right. So yeah. this guy. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna right here. Being a bugger. All right. So he is going to attack you with his knife. Oh. <laughs> 16. And um, 16 is enough to hit you then. Um, all of six slashing damage. Do I not get a chance uh, to save that, or, or is it just because no. it's the armor? No, yeah. only some things have saves, but because this was a direct melee attack, it goes purely on your armor class. Six damage. Sorry. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oakheart. Last <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. These guys explode when they die. Yeah. Well, seems one of them did. <laughs> oh, Vic. How many times have I heard you say that? Mm -hmm. The DM is laughing. Be very, oh. very afraid. Alright. I'm going to move myself over here. And mm -hmm. I'm going to do something that you guys may not appreciate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, check to make sure that you've um, received co uh, confirmation emails from Just Giving. Uh, where are you putting that? Um, well, I don't really have it. Uh, let me grab a torch. Thank you, Giant. Oh, she's getting a torch. Just draw it out. Can you Let's do that? Oh, perfect. Um, I think I can get it just about. Can I see oh. that? I'm not so, sure if so I can. So we have uh, anonymous. We, we, yeah, we do have anonymous right. on. Um, I'll put it right there. The bottom, but it did not yeah, come up. Yeah, you can just see corner. On the alert. Right. Laura Jane, thank so, you so much. Uh, difficult to Laura Jane, did that, what were we on before you made that donation? Were we on four thirty? Every five foot it travels. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, Violet, you are in the way as well. It means I can't move. If you do, you'll take 2 4 damage for every 5 foot. Yeah. Sorry! <laughs> oh, did I miss it? I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Uh, anything else you Thank you so much. Heart. Guys, can we get all the hype uh, in the chat, please, for the awesome Laura Jane donating £10? Thank you so, so much. That means... I think the only one that's taken anything is me. Guys, yeah, sorry to much. interrupt. We we had uh, a ten pound donation that I actually missed from Laura Jane, uh, so that means she has just triggered. Do, 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 do. What was the uh, ten pound? Um, it was always a good luck card for a player. Which player? Which one? Laura Jane, Which you one? get to pick a character to uh, give the good luck card to. So you can either do myself, which is Narissa. Perfectly can, which is Violet. Playcraft, which is Kaz. Uh, sorry, is it Kaz or Cass? Cass. Cass. Um, or Oakheart. Which, which is one would you like? <laughs> yeah, sorry, which is Mark. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I have to give it to you. Yay! Thank you so much, Laura J. <laughs> Streamer <my> perk. <laughs> okay, I give good luck to All right. Uh, do you want me to give it to you, or are you going to draw it yourself? How do I draw it? If you hover over the blue deck, that's the favourite ones, and a card will come out the top. Click the one that's come out the top and just drag it over your name in the bottom left. Do I have to click on good before I do that? Uh, no, the blue deck is the good one. The, oh, there's a red deck below, which is the bad one. So just say dra uh, drag it over my character? My yeah, so my the token. one that raises out of the deck, click on that and drag it over onto your name on the bottom left. Oh, why is it not showing up? Oh, you it's, just drew it uh, directly on the map. Ah, oh, cool. Ooh, that's a good card. This card makes oh, And if you right yeah, click, and you can do take card. card. We may deal maximum damage on this attack. <laughs> I could do that too. <laughs> nice. I think £20 pounds is a bad card. luck burst for hundreds of players. Yes. To answer your question, Oakheart, I think the only one that's taken any damage at all is me, and I've taken five. Alright. In that case, I 
don't use my bonus action this turn. <laughs> I don't really have anything to do with it at the moment, so... If you click on yeah, that uh, Discord that. link, guys, it will come up with a picture oh, right. for how much it costs yeah, it's um, to you get involved see in this, the game. Uh, aura of spike growth. It's all camouflage from natural. So I'm afraid you didn't know that's there. Oh, so guys, I'm sorry. Momo, I'm really sorry. I just missed another <laughs> £20 donation. Ah, holy bejeebus. Who was that with the £20 donation? Clue! Clue our rest. How are you doing, honey? Thank you so much for that donation. Holy bejeebus. That means that Momo gets another bad luck card. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're my new favourite. And it also triggers the giveaway for a Firestorm Games gift card, guys. How amazing is that? Let me open that giveaway um, and then Momo can get back to it. Uh, where are we? Is that is that the price we players get for dying? Uh, no. <laughs> We just gotta suck it up, I'm afraid. <laughs> I know. Um, where is it? Um, so, uh, I'm gonna use this card now. Uh, I've just rolled for it, and three to that be uh, Violet. What is your favourite little trinket you've got on your person? I think the only okay. one I've got my loot. Your loot? Oh no! Because uh, you know this card. Loot, my sitter. <laughs> <laughs> <That one. laughs> yeah. uh, a small <laughs> item on your person goes missing. A small that could item. be like a maybe a favourite dagger Giggity. or something like that. Earring. Probably uh, not your magic weapon. Socks. <laughs> my my javelin. No, no, she she loses one sock. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a javelin. How about your javelin? I think that's probably something fair to go missing. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's fine. But that was the uh, the bad look card. I've got another one left, which I'm hoping I can trigger soon. Oh, there's your pen. Hmm? I've already done it to the javelin now. <laughs> okay. I just realised you've got, got pen and ink in a book. Yeah, because I write in my travels <laughs> as I go along. It seems fluffy. Oh <laughs> uh, well, you can maybe get another javelin. These guys have got spears, yeah, some of them. It don't, it don't, it's not a massive issue. I'm not exactly going to throw it at somebody right now. I've got a guy standing in front of me, so... Mm. <laughs> Alright, uh, where was I? Yeah, Kaz, uh, you're currently disguised. Um, you can see this fight's broken out, but you can't see it's your friends have done it, though it's a good guess. Um, and you can't see this um, aura. It's uh, disguised. So what do you do? I think we broke her. Um, can I make a perception check to recognise it as hazardous and where to bring it? Uh, well, if she if she can see it at the time yeah. I cast it, then she should be able to see it immediately. I'm not sure if she was. Uh, I've been on the stairs the entire time. Mm. Yeah, do a perception check. Uh, let's see how you do. Yeah, I think that is definitely going to be high enough that uh, you sort of can discern the roots twisting between the uh, the cobblestones. You know, it's definitely something unnatural happening. Right, in which case, I am... Um, I, I, I'm going to hold my action one of them comes towards me. Alright, uh, and if it comes towards you, are you just going to stab? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stab it in place. With my short sword. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, you are going to get, uh, Violet, a couple of spears thrown at you. Um, so if yeah, first one's gonna miss horrifically with nine, it's gonna whiz past your ear and straight past oak or heart as well. The next one, <laughs> same thing. These guys are rubbish with their spears. Then this chap, he is gonna charge forward and he is gonna take uh, is it 44 of damage for the uh, 10 foot he traveled. That's uh, seven oh. points of piercing damage right there. 
perfect. Uh, he's going to feel it, but he's going to keep charging, uh, and then he is going to attack you, Violet, uh, with his long knife. <laughs> and fail. <laughs> he was really put off by the, um, the whatchamacallit. Well, the whole area, the entire area, it's not filled with, like, mm. thorns, it's filled with Legos. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> this guy is going to come forward, uh, take another 2d4. And then he's going to stop as he feels it, because um, he's got too far to go. Do you want to roll that damage? Yes. They're fantasy Lego, so... <laughs> I might add. Another five damage. This isn't good for these guys. Um, no. And then he is going to roll through his spear as well. Ooh, a crit. For all of nine damage on you, Violet. Ooh. And that is the fishy guy's gone. Uh, yes, if you can take nine off, that'll be fantastic. God damn you, Violet. And you, Violet. Right. Uh, there are two things I want to do. Mm hmm. I can technically do both of them this time. Well, um. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is rage. Because he's just right. like, these people have just tried to attack me, I'm gonna get pretty pissed off that they just, just smashed their door down! They just threw five things at me! So I'm getting like annoyed, as justifiably so. Alright, that's so your bonus. I'm just gonna take one of my rages off there, apply my rage damage there, and put a pen on my rage counter. Nice. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is play my sitter. And the sitter, I'm going to use it to cast. Oh, wait, before I rage. Before I rage, I've got to do it that way. Otherwise, I can't do it. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, that's going to yeah, be a very yeah, angry yeah. song and nobody's going to get it. <laughs> um, so, before I do that, uh, I play my sitter to cast second level spell on it uh, for Black Skin. All right. Uh, touching myself. Giggity. Ah, oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> you beat me to it. I and was resisting. Which basically, <laughs> I'm not going to resist that. It makes my AC 60. All right, yeah. Re regardless of what I'm wearing, it lasts an hour. Cool, I've just bumped your AC up. I'm just going to write <laughs> one hour. Just so that I remember. Mm. Is that a uh, concentration? Uh, no, I believe it's just. Happens. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, it just happens. So that was your action and your bonus action. So you've got some movement left. I ain't gonna use it. <laughs> are you gonna stand there? Perfect. Larissa, you are on the edge of this uh, spike growth that you saw being cast. Uh, what are you going to do? What happens if I go into it? Sorry. Battle You'll take 2d4 damage with right. 5 foot you travel. Am I okay to just Yeah, I was going to say we'd take a break after this fight, but yeah, you, by all means take one now. Uh, do, you want to, do you want us all to take a quick break then? Oh, are you guys okay yeah, having a break in the middle of the fight? Yeah, I'm, I'm good for that. I'm okay. Yeah, I could do the cup of tea, so uh, back in 10 minutes. I, I could do with a, a coffee refresh. <laughs> Your two liter mug, that's amazing. Yeah, alright, uh, back in 10 minutes then, guys. Oh, what are you then? Also, I'm going to mute Discord. Um, just so it doesn't like you know, come through my mic and stuff. <clears throat> my headset, even. Sure. Uh, if you need me, right. message me. So, I won't be long. <laughs> cool, see you in a bit, guys. Alright, guys, um, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'm going to be like five or so minutes. Uh, this is your opportunity to go and have a stretch break as well. Um, oof. Headset here. Um, <laughs> Nell's coffee refresh takes three hours to fill. Oh, don't nighty. My kettle is broke, guys. Um, I am I am proper caveman in it. I'm, I'm absolutely... Oh, it's horrible. I've got to fill a pan of water and, and heat it on the, uh, the stove. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take a quick bio break, make a coffee, fill the pug mug, um, 
because I'm like almost to the bottom of my cup of cold coffee. I would like to. Here we go. That's why I couldn't hear it. It's because I got my headset on. I couldn't hear the uh, the movement. Here comes the pint rain. Pity the air ambulance is here. Here comes the pain train, pity the air ambulance in IRL. Oh, bless. Uh, thank you so much for that donation. Thorn Julio. I love it. What a name. Um, okay, wrong donation link, but that's fine because I can transfer that from my donation link uh, into the Just Giving. So let me do that for you now. Uh, where are we? Um, you've also just bought another bad luck card for Momo, so she's going to be happy. <laughs> she's going to be like so, so happy. Uh, guys, make sure you're all getting into the giveaway as well. Type FSG Foxtrot Sierra Golf into uh, chat. No smart ass. Don't be typing Foxtrot Sierra Golf. Just the letters, guys. Um, into chat. Uh, Thank you so much for that. Guys, can we get all the hype for uh, Thorn Holio, please? Okay, so I'm just uh, making this donation now. Once that's gone through, it should come up on stream as well um, as an alert. So, guys, I can't see chat right now because I'm doing the donation. <laughs> so it says, completing your donation. Your donation will be completed shortly. How shortly? I don't know. Hopefully, not too long. Hopefully, not too long. Uh, thanks, your donation is processing, uh, there's nothing else you need to do, we'll email your confirmation when it's completed, let me show you that, there you go, um, so hopefully that'll come up soon, TM, soon, TM, but uh, Thorn Holio, thank you so much for that epic donation, I truly, truly appreciate that, um, where are we? Uh, hype for the donation and the rad name. Yeah, I don't know. You just wanted to go to the lighthouse. Man, those guys must be sharpish. Uh, I came off to bed. Hope you have a great night, and I'll try and catch you in the morning. Lord Jane, thank you so much for being here tonight, honey. Thank you for your donation. And yes, I will definitely see you tomorrow. Uh, I will be here till uh, like gone. Was it twelve thirty-two? Is the twenty-four hour mark at midday tomorrow? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Look what you like. Right guys, I need a quick bio break. Go and make some coffee. This is your chance to have a stretch break, guys. Go and go and get yourself a drink, uh, a bite to eat, go to the toilet, etc. For those of you who are not already doing so, if you could do me a massive favour, uh, massive favours, because I read your bloody ble oh god, I can't even speak. It's because I read your bloody chat uh nighty. Uh if you could do me a massive favour uh, and host me if you're not already doing so. It will help spread awareness <laughs> of um, the stream and the whole charity event. Words now, words are hard, yo. Words are hard. Also, if you'd like to make a donation, please feel free to do so. We currently have the giveaway going for um, some Firestone Games gift voucher, guys. Uh, and also the next donation milestone giveaway. Once we reach £600, there will be 10 winners, 10 individual winners for a Reaper miniature, random Reaper miniature. Um, 
I really need your help with this. Oh God, no, I'm going, I'm going. Guys, I won't be too long. I just need to make a coffee and have a stretch break and everything, okay? Please don't go anywhere. Um, even if you're here lurking, I, I appreciate you so, so much. So thank you so much, guys. I'll be right back. Wag in the pint box red. X die dim dim. Let's keep it trusting the east.
Hey guys, I am back. Sorry it took so long. My kettle is currently broken, so I have to boil my water caveman style with a pan of water on the stove. <laughs> so who is still here right now? Who is still here? Uh, did I just get sad trombone? No. <laughs> oh God. Uh, do Midgard. Hey, Rebel Star Raider. How are you doing, honey? How you doing? Lula, Free the Reaper, Midgard. How you all doing, Saren? I'm here somewhere now. Uh, so, guys, for those of you who are just joining us, we are in the middle of a game of D and D, uh, run by the lovely Momo. Um, we also have Playgrat, Perfect Can, and uh, Oak, uh, Oak Heart, uh, aka Mark, as well. A pan of water of a candle. Proper caveman style. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, thank you very much. So I'm going to uh, unmute Discord now so we can get back to the game. Also, uh, I don't know if it came up on screen, but we are up to now uh, £480. Um, Thornholio, the money that you donated to directly to me. Uh, I don't know if the alert came up on the screen because I don't know if I had it on my BRB screen. Um, but I have now donated that to Just Give In and it should have come up. Uh, yeah, 480 pounds. Woohoo! It did! Awesome! Now you donated 20 pounds. So sounds like uh, another. Yes, so that is um, Thorn Holio's donation because uh, uh, they, d they uh, actually donated it direct to me rather than the uh, the Just Give In link, which is fine, it's no big deal, but I just wanted to clarify where that donation came from. Even though I technically made the donation through Just Give In, it is Thorn Holio's £20 that he donated to me, which was for the charity, okay? Um, so yes, that has earned Momo another bad luck card, which I will let her know now when I unmute Discord. So here we go, guys, here we go. I don't okay, really I'm back. Him. Welcome back. Thank you. Got a slot, slot, slot <laughs> Momo, are you here? I am. I have some bad news for the rest players and some good news for you. <laughs> they gave her more cards, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> Thornholio did a, a twenty pound donation. Who did that? Sorry. Thornholio. Uh, Ooh, epic thank you game. very much. So that means that Momo gets another bad luck card to use against us players, guys. Ooh, let me have a look. What have I got? Uh, so it's my turn still. Um, I haven't actually done anything yet, so I've still got my movement, my action, and my bonus action. Mm -hmm. um, so I've still got my spiritual uh, weapon. Do I have any other bonus actions, or was that the only one? Uh, that might be your only one. I'm not sure. Can I have more than one spiritual weapon up? No. no. Ah. But it's your bonus action to attack with it. Oh, right, cool. That's, that's cool, then. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, there was totally another £100 donation. <laughs> you wish, Midgard. You wish. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Momo is... is I would, I would add dragon. that... You know, if someone were to actually do the 100 pound thing, we are stuck on an island. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we cannot run away. Run. No. <laughs> we are on a tiny little island with a lighthouse surrounded by a huge ocean um, everywhere as far as the eye can see. So we, we would be pretty screwed. <laughs> so 100 pound donation <laughs> will spawn a dragon. Okay, guys. Well. <laughs> well, I, I would add that you guys would be screwed. I could turn into a shark and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. So if you would like to get in on the D&D &D game, guys, uh, guys, even, and there is the list for what your donation will get you. Um, there is the link for you to donate. And also, uh, we have a Firestorm Games gift voucher up for grabs in the current giveaway type uh, FSG into chat as long as you're following you are able to enter and then the next 
uh, giveaway milestone, uh, sorry, the, the next donation milestone giveaway to be triggered is at £600 and there'll be 10 lucky winners uh, of a Reaper Mini, guys. So it has to be 10 individuals. So if your name comes up twice, it gets re-rolled. So it's 10 individual people. But you're eligible to enter every single giveaway in, like, separate giveaway that I do throughout the charity stream. So don't panic. You just can't win the same one twice. Excuse me, what was... Where did that cheer come from, then? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have some sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, oh, is it through the... Uh, the, the what's it called? The uh, sinking... Sirenscape. That's yeah. the word, yeah. <laughs> no. Vacuum killer, welcome back, honey. Okay, so my turn. Uh, what am I going to mm -hmm. do? Um... Okay, I am going to attack. Um, so if I move for I this is just an example. I haven't actually moved, but if I move, you uh, take two d four piercing damage per square that you move in that circle. Am I? Yeah, I think you'll be all right. Am I? I was going to say, am I technically in the circle? But they. Yeah, I'd say you're not because it's less than half. But if you go to here, um, I'd say you would be in. Right, okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. If you take the one behind me, you can probably get them without being in the circle. Mm -hmm. If you get the you one, that one next to Oak Heart, you can probably also see into the uh, place reasonably well enough. Uh, yeah. Look over there. Um, so my spiritual weapon, is it, I can only attack one creature, can't I? It's not an AoE. Just one. Okay. Uh, do you need us to You can move it, um, if you want. Yeah, it's a 20 meter range, isn't it? Or whatever oh, the... Top of my head, but something like that. Yeah. No, you can move it 30 feet, foot feet, yeah, each sorry. turn. Yeah. Oh, 30. Awesome. Thank you. My family, no. I'm sorry, Caitlin, but they need to die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what am I going to do? Although, Caitlin, if you give me lots more DM cards, I can make sure she dies instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Going on with those DM cards of being, you'll probably be trying to make sure I die instead. On the other hand, if you give, donate a few five pounders, then we can give them all healing potions. There is that as well. Um... Right, which one was it? I can't do Thunder Wave because that's... Is, is that diagonal cubes or is it just in front of me? It says it's a 15 foot cube. I think it's directly from you. Uh, let me have a look what the spell says. Um, which one are we yeah, talking? Yeah, so it's uh, target self. So it's um, 15 foot from you and a 15 foot cube. So how, you would get Violet as well as the two uh, creatures next to her. If you did it from where you are now. Violet, how much health have you got? <laughs> you don't get, get oak heart. by everything. You would also get oak heart. No. Oh no, it'll be one direction. It so, is in um, front of me. Is it one direction cube? I thought it was centered on. Um, uh, no. If, you're, uh, if you've got a 15 foot cube, then you basically get this area from where you are right now. Yeah, that's how I understand it. Okay, um, so if I was to do that, would Violet have to take a save? Would she have to do yeah, a save? she get the same save as... Um, okay, so there's a potential you wouldn't save, take damage. It? What save is it? Um, Dex, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know, it says on a successful save. Hang on, it's Thunder Wave, is it? On save, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proficient in it. Okay. Um, do it. I I could use my card to do the maximum damage for this one as well. <laughs> oh, do it. Me, it so I, I would also add that if you kill the two right next to Violet, they will also violently explode and probably damage her further. <gasps> no! No, no! I didn't mean to do that. I clicked the wrong thing. No. I'm trying to figure out give it you back. Uh, I, I, it is a request, so I can say no way. Oh, yeah, say no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, then. 
I was just trying to look at the card uh, to see whether it affected spells or just melee attacks. And it, it went to steal. It's like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so if I use my maximum damage card, does that mean Violet can't do her save? Oh no, no, she'll still be able to do the, uh, the save. That's okay then. But if if it uh, passes, it does maximum damage to her, which is two d eight. Does um, that mean sixteen? I would also add. I would also add. Now that I think about it, Thunder wa uh, Thunder Wave is very loud. So we're, we can throw fair, all stealth out the window as soon as you do this. To be fair, our group, like you know, you we're, we're pretending to use stealth, but there is nothing stealthy about this group. Like you know, the volume of your screeches and uh, <laughs> uh, Violet's axe bashing the door down. I, I think we've already thrown stealth out the window. It's safe to say. All right. All right. That is fair. That is fair. <laughs> um, so that is completely fair. It does. It says. Uh, if they fail the throw, uh, fail the save, if they take 2d8 thunder damage and it's pushed 10 feet away from you. Um, does that mean it takes 16 damage with 2d8s? Or is it... Of that, yeah. Right, okay. Um, I would also add that if they get pushed away, away from you... You're pushing <laughs> me get... away from you as well, so I'll get extra damage due to the thing. You can actually take me out here. Do it. You do it. You better save then. <laughs> You better pass your save. You better pass your save. Otherwise, I could be taken out of my own party member. <laughs> Welcome fine. back, Lord Jane. Okay, so it's, do I have to... I, there's no guarantee that I'm actually going to get this. Because I still have to click on it and see if I actually pass my roll first. Okay, so let, let's deal with that first. <laughs> All right. You can do it at a higher level as well if you want. Uh, I, I am going to do... Can I do a level three? You can. I'm going to do level three. Uh, Violet, I apologise in advance. <laughs> what did I get? Um, DC 14. DC 14. So are you going to use your card to maximise the damage? I am. So I click that. So it will be um, 4d8 maximum. 32 points, of 32 points of damage. Let's see whether these guys um, do it. save or not. Oh, right. Okay. right. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to so, look for like a use button on the card then. Oh, no, I you just <laughs> needed it. So, first guy at the top. Oh, he's going to succeed, but he'll still take 16 damage. Oh, that's right. The next guy. Oh, look at that. That's disgusting. So, they're both going to take 16 damage. But. But. That is enough to kill them both. Huzzah! <gasps> Rebel! Wait for it! <laughs> uh, Violet, would you like to do your save first? Yes, please. Right, hang on, guys. Uh, Re ready. Rebel, I've Rebel has just donated right, five pound. Uh, so oh, thank nice. you so much for that. All the hype in the chat for that. Thank you so much, Ooh. Rebel. Um, that also means. What was the card or uh, healing potion healing for potion. a player? If we give this Ooh, to, to Violet. Um, and she fails this save, can she then pop the health potion to negate some of the damage? Uh, on her next turn as a bonus action, yes. Okay, I assume she's I conscious. You failed it, so you're going to take 32 damage from that. Have, because you're raging. Um, oh, half. Oh. Had the health potions for Violet. Yes. Actually, are oh, you a... Oh, bless you, Rebel. Are you a bear, are you a bear totem? Not of that, I'm ancestors. Then you're not resistant to thunder damage. Nope. Oh, that's going to be the full 32 then. D didn't Just you take half damage because of uh, raging? What's the thing? What was it said? Isn't that just against bludgeoning and stuff? Oh, I, I don't remember. remember. Yep. Yeah, bludgeoning, piercing, and splashing. Oh, so right. you don't get to halve it, so you take the full 32 from that. Yep. And then and as then each I one of these the dies, they explode. I get, oh. I, get pushed, I get pushed for uh, 10 anyway. I'm already out. Because of um, Okar. I get pushed yeah. 10 foot away from her. I get pushed 10 foot straight through those um, things, so I take um, 2d6. He might roll very lowly. <laughs> I'm on 6. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on 6. Oh, I'm on 6. Okay. Oh, I need an average, and I'm out. You're down. Yeah, you're down. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> Mel, I I'll like you. We are both sacrificial lambs on Nell's altar. So let, let's uh, let's uh, let's quote some Bojo. Um, I I am willing to sacrifice you for the, for the greater good. For my yes, greater should. good. <laughs> We've got a DM collab a collaborator. To be fair, to be fair, I took two bobs out. All right, so yeah, as these creatures die, they are going to explode. Um, so you're already down, so it doesn't affect you, but it's everyone within 10 foot of them. So, from uh, this guy here, that is going to include Nell and his friend here. So I'm going to need Nell to do a dexterity save to see if she takes damage. God damn it. Why am I negative one dex? Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, you'll take uh, 10 damage from the first one exploding. And this one here is going to take 10 off. <gasps> Take that off him. And then this one to the south is also going to explode. I love this ability. Right, won't purple take damage and take an instant uh, failed saving throw? Yeah, as well. Oh, oh yes. Which means I'm, I'm dead, I can't do it. <laughs> no, no, you're not dead, you've, you've got three. You've got three total, you've just taken two failed saving throws from them exploding. Someone can get you up though, don't worry. I do have a heal, um, which I can use next to. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Jess Peachy, thank you so much. Guys, can we get a shout out, please, mods, for the awesome Jess Peachy? Thank you so much for that epic raid. How did your stream go? Oh. Um, do I have to Ow. take another save? Another dex, yeah. Uh, just for two oh, damage Oh, thank this God time. for that. <laughs> you just take one damage then, Nell, where this guy takes the full two, the whopping two. <laughs> oh, that was just magnificent. Um, Don't forget to uh, move Violet over here. <laughs> yeah, how far do we move? Is it five or ten? Ten feet. Ten. I've got wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. If they've been punted over there, that means I'm not in their splash damage radius. They exploded as they were hit. Ah. And then got punted. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Oh, Thank you, Lurch. <laughs> Guys, go and click on that Twitch link. Go and give Peachy, uh, just Peachy, a follow. And I hope so you kick the button to over. Watch. Oh, no, no, stay at zero. Uh, you don't, uh, you don't I'm at bother with negative already, health. Anyway. Yeah, well, no, uh, we don't bother with minus uh, numbers in uh, 5e. I, I still have just my bonus action as well. I, I, w I would also like to add that it turns out that we didn't need the chat to kill us. <laughs> 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 just the streamer! Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been more deadly than I have so far. Yeah. This, 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 this was impressive, and I have spent two and a half years, or at least the better part of a two and a half year campaign, in a party with a wizard whose first response to everything was fireball. <laughs> This is totally going up on my YouTube channel, by the way, guys. This uh, this section of the stream, the D and D. Um, so yeah, you, you will be able to relive this moment time and time again. Okay, and of course it'll be in the Twitch vod right. as well. So dare I ask, what do you do with your bonus action? I still have a bonus action for this the spirit weapon. Uh, you could weapon. move your spiritual yes. weapon right over to Violet and kill her with it. No. Yes. <laughs> I would also I would also add I, I would also add that if you try and attack the guy next to it and uh, you kill him with it. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna be that evil. I'm not gonna be that evil. You I'm not gonna kill it twice. Make that explode as well, just, please. Just do it. But she's already dead, so it won't really affect her. Um, it won't get three saving throws for your permanent kill me. Just go ahead and do it. No, no, I'm not gonna no. <laughs> Can't do you, that. Can, you can also move the spiritual weapon <laughs> one square to the right, and maybe not. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking of, uh, of attacking this one by here, the one I've just pinged. You can certainly do that, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I won't be too evil, as much as I would uh, relish in that. Oh, you're going to be such an evil DM uh, now. I'd love to be one of your games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which do I have to roll for this now? Uh, just your spiritual weapon again. Oh, right, yeah. It yeah. won't use spell to block, um, but yeah, it will have a damage on it. Okay, uh, where is it? 
There you go. And this is a, a level three as well. Because if you remember when I cast it, it was level three. Mm. Yes, yes. It will always be level three, which is really nice. Twelve. Uh, twelve. Uh, not quite enough to hit. Oh, damn. it misses. Just swoosh of this guy's head as he, you know, uses a shield to bash it away. <laughs> um. All right. I think that's you done, Nerissa. So. Um... <laughs> Your sacrifice was totally God. worth it, Violet. I took out two of them. <laughs> I think it's I've taken out all three, actually. <laughs> Okart! Okart is... <laughs> Okart is just going to step forward and ask, just gawk at what the fuck just happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the... <laughs> you, you could totally, um, uh, like, you know, heal her, though, couldn't you? Okart, it's only a flesh wound, right? It's just a flesh wound, yeah. <laughs> Alright, first off, bonus action, healing word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, if you want your friends to see this amazing uh, D D campaign, okay, right, please host the channel. It's all in the name of charity, okay, guys. We are raising money for the Wales Air Ambulance. Every penny that can be raised. Uh, will do such a great deed for the amazing service that they provide. Um, also, get involved with the D&D games. You can donate um, and certain amounts will get you certain things in the game. If you click on that link, you can see what's available. So you can either help the players who kind of need it right now, <laughs> or you can hinder them and help the DM have some fun with us. Okay, if you want to go all out, you can donate a hundred pound and spawn a dragon. No, I'm just saying. Go on. Just no, saying. <laughs> okay, sorry. Back to you, Okart. Back to you. So that's right. seven healing on uh, Violet. So you're on yes. seven HP. Okay. Uh, you are currently prone. Um, but you are alive. Uh, and you can reset your death saves as well. For now. <laughs> yeah, wait till Nell's next turn. <laughs> I will admit, I had planned for something. <laughs> and I'm not sure I should do it because I'm pretty sure I'll bring Violet back now. Excuse me. <laughs> um. You know what? I'm sorry. I really am. Did your bonus to be yeah, I used my bonus for healing word. I still can do a cantrip. I'm gonna use Thorn Whip to track this guy next to Violet ten feet through the spike growth. Oh, try it, yeah. Twenty, that yeah, perfect hit. Um and can you roll damage to spike growth? And for that as well. Does that deal damage to um Violet as well? No. I, I literally just wrap a whip made of thorns around this guy and drag him ten feet towards me. <laughs> God. Let's hope he doesn't explode on me. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the thing. Because you're in the uh, impact range for that as well, by the way. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think everyone except for Cass is in the impact range. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, it does depend. Does he die? He doesn't. He is looking really injured, though. You know, the arm holding his shield is like lank at his side. Uh, it's not going to take much, you don't think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a good moment for Oakheart to move back. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of stand there. He just kind of wince. <laughs> and not feeling any detonation, he's going to move back. <laughs> That is my turn. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, Cass. Um, I think the only way I'm going to be able to actually do anything is to throw a dagger at these cripples. Yeah, um, you can do that. Yeah. So I think this one closest to me. I can't remember how to actually ping one yet. I'm gonna throw the thing at. I'd be really sad because I'm throwing my bloody dagger. 
No. Oh. Fifteen. Good hit. And uh, it wedges in his shoulder. Uh, and kind of looks at you and pulls it out. He might even throw it back at you. That's all I can do. <laughs> Uh, I'd say you could probably sneak attack that as well, because uh, he wasn't aware you were there. You're still sort of in disguise and hiding out on the stairs. Oh, very nice. Um, and he's looking really shocked now, but he's still standing. And, uh, turning to look at you, this definitely is a uh, main focus now. Anything else, Kaz? All right, time for these guys. Um, with all the noise that's been made, um, particularly with that uh, thunder wave, you've attracted a little bit more attention. <laughs> and uh, this door opens. And two more of these chaps run out. The first one comes here, takes a step. Um, yeah, around his friend, and he takes the damage from the spike growth. Nice. Uh, but then he is gonna spot you, and you'll hear the shouting from his friend. Um, I think he is going to try and stab you with his spear. He gets two attacks. 21 or 14. I think they're both gonna hit you. Yes, they are, because Mitsu beats it. Hmm. Yeah, unlucky, so that's that one done. The other one is going to come out. Um, and then he's going to step here. Um, take the five damage. Uh, not the five damage, the uh, spike growth damage. Cat, would you get out of the way? Ooh, seven. Nice. So I'm just dealing with a cat. Let me and get some more. He can <laughs> see Nerissa and. So he's going to throw his spear at her. Uh, I think that's going to miss. This one here, he's going to throw his spear at Cass. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, it's going to hit you as well, I'm sorry. She's totally not sorry. <laughs> no, no really. she's not. <laughs> so what I've I've just realised something I could have actually done. I could have taken hide as a bonus action. Yep. Uh, next time, maybe. Yeah. Run up the stairs. You could, have, you could have also got used the dash action to get. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this one down here. He's gonna take the damage stepping forward. Actually, run it for me, uh, Okart. Yes, yes. What? Damn. Five. Five. It's four if it is. Alright. He is limping so badly, it's not going to take much to kill him now. Uh, he's covered in blood from the um, the spikes. So he's just going to stab Nar uh, Narissa twice with his spear. First one misses as he uh, grunts in pain, but the second one I think might get you. Do I get to see his front? Uh, it's an uh, armor attack, I'm sorry. No! So yeah, 21 is going to meet your AC, or beat your AC, so that one's going to get you for 8 damage. Red. Oh no. Uh, Violet, you're currently out of any splash zones, but you are prone. Well, I think the first thing I need to do is stand up. Alright, that'll up. take Spit half your blood. movement. Just take stuff in the situation. Any of the ones that are in front of me look particularly injured. Uh, well, the ones with cross on are all dead. This guy yeah. is heavily, heavily dead. Uh, I injured, I sorry. Go, I wouldn't go that side. I'd go the ones that are ganging up together to try and stop them from going to the other side. Um, no, none of these seem to be injured, to be honest. Fair enough. Well, the first thing I do is use another one of my set turn attacks and pure wound on myself. Don't forget you've got your health potion as well. Yes. I do. Bonus oh. actions take a health potion. Okay. That's I'm a just house rule. Heal this turn. <laughs> uh, what's a health potion? Uh, two D four plus two. Two D four plus two. Okay. 
Uh, can I roll two D? Can I tell it to roll two D four to slash R two D four? Uh, yes, yeah, slash R space two D four plus two. Oh. oh. Uh, then I'm gonna use my pretty little sitter and try to help myself. Idiot. Which is cure wounds. Twitching myself. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing? Sorry, I'm just trying to find what I need to roll for that. Uh, I think your wounds at. First level is 1d8 plus your spell casting modifier. I think you can just click on the spell to uh, uh, I don't roll know what it. Uh, yeah, just click on the spell. Uh, you might need to go to the spells page to do it. Uh. Yeah, cast at what level? Level 1, seeing when I can. Oh. And uh, I guess you're ignoring the rage damage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what? Oh, it, no, no. it added the two for the rage damage on that, top. That's, that's how she's casting it. She's bashing herself in the head with a sit. Uh. I have absolutely no idea how that... Oh, fair um, so yeah, it's because it's ticked, so... The roll 20 isn't that clever. No, no, uh, five. Five. Um, it's just not... Roll 20 is not very clever. You've got rage ticked, so it adds it to everything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it should be five for that spell. Yeah, so I'm up to 16. Nice. Any movement? Uh, no. Not at 16. <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Not at 16. Always hopeful. <laughs> um, Nerissa, you've got this chap next to you. He is just covered in blood, like disgusting green blood oozing all over his face, his arms, his legs. He can barely hold his shield and spear up. Um... You can see little crackles of energy going over him, um, almost like it's in preparation for mm. something. What do I do? Yeah. How far can I move my <laughs> spiritual uh, weapon? Um, 30 foot, I think it is. Right, okay. I'm pretty sure it's 30 foot. Or 25 foot, something like that. But yeah, you can get it uh, to this square, definitely. I would also add that most creatures do not appreciate a warhammer between the eyes. That is true. <laughs> Sound advice, sir. Uh, my God. He has a wisdom of 18. <laughs> oh, up to 20 foot per turn, sorry. Okay, I'm actually gonna use <laughs> a gust of wind Ooh. to try and move him away from me. That would work. Uh, and then if successful, I'll come and bonk him on the head with my spiritual weapon. <laughs> All right, I like it. Hey, Crumpet Love, how you doing? And Dragon the Adam, how you doing, honey? Yeah, D and D. Uh, oh, you're from South Wales, nice. Uh, where are we? So, gust of wind. Uh, right. How do I do this one? Do I need to roll for anything, or is it just a guaranteed uh, thing? They've just got to succeed on a <laughs> saving throw, strength. strength saving throw. Um, Please fail. And we'll get shoved. So yeah, I can roll that. What is the DC? That'll be um, on your sheet on the spells page. Uh, 14, I think. Have a spell save it. DC at the top. Actually, not seeing it. Uh, on the spells page at the top. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, 14. Um, which way are spell. you blasting this? You've got a 60 foot line you can draw. Uh, how do I draw the line? Do I just like hold and drag my mouse? Uh, no. Um, I can help you out. If you do it from here, basically you can get this guy. 
you, really, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that, that's the one I'm aiming for. The one that's right next to me. But how, how do I and draw that's a marker? The he wants to do. You could also... Uh, the paintbrush. <laughs> Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Oh! Sorry. <laughs> what are you done? I, I disappeared. <laughs> I did everything. <laughs> I love it. My bad. Oh, you'll have to roll your initiative again. Uh, okay. It was nine point something. Yeah, nine point four. Nine point one four. I was playing some DD last night and I was at Ratney, it was 6 or Bugbeer and V2. <laughs> oh god. My apologies. So I'm gonna like punt oh, him over well. here, hopefully. Alright, yeah, so he needs to do a <laughs> strength save. Let's see if he's any good at this. Oh, he fails. So he is going to be splung back. Um, he's gonna take damage from the. Um, the other. Uh, what you call it? My breath. That's the fella. If you can roll that. Three! That is enough to kill him! Huzzah! But he, he died no. after he's been punted though, yeah? He has been punted against this wall, yeah. But I think he's going to explode. He's still going to be in range. No. Can I move before he does it? Because I haven't moved yet. Uh, you can say you moved first, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. how do I uh, get off that now? Right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving for 